Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Mackay AFL Grand Final Series. Uh, three games coming up today. First, we'll be kicking off with the women's between the mighty Mackay Magpies and the Bakers Creek Tigers. That will then be followed by the reserves game between Mackay City Hawks and Eastern Swans. And then the big one at 6.30 uh, with Sunday Seagulls looking at going, going back to back up against the Eastern Swans. Uh, I'm joined in the moment in the commentary team here at Harrow Park, the newly wed runner-up in the women's best and fairest, Jennifer, Jennifer Ritchie. It is now. Welcome to the live stream, Jen. Thanks, Downsy. It's good to be here, obviously. Yep, a big game coming up first, the, uh, the women's game. We've got the, the Magpies girls just coming out onto the ground now, uh, doing a bit of a pre-game warm-up up against the uh, Bakers Creek Tigers, who uh, earned the right, right straight through the grand final after beating the North Mackay Saints. And the Māori uh, Magpies coming the hard way, coming from fourth position. A uh, couple of key matchups you're thinking for this game, Jen? Yeah, we've obviously had a look at the the lineup for both teams. <clears throat> so basically, we're really hoping that Megan Allard, um, she obviously took home the goal kicker of the year for the women's on 22 goals this year. So we're really hoping that Jay Willis, who's been in the last few weeks, um, goes straight to her. What are your thoughts, being a Magpies man yourself, Jay Willis? Can she do the job? Yeah, I think Jay Willis needs to do the job if uh, the Maples are to win it. Megan, Megan Allard's a big influence on uh, on Bakers Creek. Uh, she gets them going forward. She sets them up. She attacks the footy really hard. So they need a really good matchup on her. I think Jay Willis is the, the lady for the job. She likes the hard stuff. She likes it a bit physical herself. So I think that's going to be a mouth-watering uh, matchup. And uh, and it's gonna, another key will be Rebecca Pollock. Popperwell on Kelly Hegarty up forward because Megan Allard can get the ball at centre half forward. She then can get it into Hegarty. Yeah, so obviously uh, Kelly's played a lot more up forward this year. Um, usually I've seen her down back, um, playing against me personally down forward. So it's it's been a really interesting year. I mean, she finished the year really well off. I think she kicked 17 goals. Um, so really successful down forward this year. But it will just be whether uh, Beck can do the job. I've had Beck play on me um, again personally, and I think they're very similar plays. I think that Kelly might just be able to out-muscle her a little bit. And obviously Kelly's been, been playing for a, for a very long time um, throughout the last few years, especially in the Masters series. So I think she'll be able to read the ball better. Um, but in regards to height, uh, speed, it's a, it's a very similar matchup. Yeah, I think a key to the to the Magpie's success are probably three girls that we know quite well through the Suns Academy and Brooke Rowlands. Um, Lily Tarlington and Wallace Randall. They can create the running game for Magpies and that's where I think they might be able to get back. Uh, Bakers, I think the Bakers are a little bit slower than the Magpies, so if they can get the ball on the outside and uh, play their running game, whereas I think uh, Bakers Creek are going to bring the physical game to it. So it's going to be a, a game of two tails, I think. Yeah, that's absolutely correct. So those three girls, obviously, we've worked um, very close with. Uh, very th like Three very different players who yep. work really good with each other. Um, Brooke is a more defensive um, attacking player so she'll run off that either the back line or you know she's in the middle at the moment but she usually reads it well holds her spot fills the, uh, fills in the holes and then she connects really well up with um, Lily Tarlington at the moment they've named her on the forward flank which I think personally I think that's perfect for her um, she likes to run and carry likes a bit of freedom so if she can do that from the forward flank and then you've got obviously Wallace's name down in the forward pocket. So if she can then get it down to Wallace, I mean Wallace has played 11 games and kicked 11 goals. So um, we know she can kick goals, we know Lily can kick goals and then um, Brooke's very consistent through the middle and through the back line. So it'll be interesting to see um, and hopefully they don't play them in the middle together. Hopefully they keep them separate and just stick to their structure that they've been doing for the last few weeks because obviously it's, started, it's working. Yeah, well, Wallace really gone back into the game last week, and that was from going into the midfield. So I'm pretty sure at some stage during the game, Wallace will go to that midfield. Uh, uh, another couple of important ones for Bakers Creek. Uh, back into the team for him, and, and there's a big tour for him is Maddie McDonald. If she can creep down forward, take some big marks, her and young Zali Ronald, uh, you know, that could be a key to Bakers Creek success too. If those girls can clunk a few marks down there in the uh, Magpies back line and kick the goals, well, who knows? I reckon it's going to be a ripping game. Yeah, two completely different teams. Um, as you said, one's more physical, one likes to run and carry and uses their pace. So I think it's going to be really interesting to see how they go more with the contested football. If Magpies can win that, um, obviously, and take the physicality, I think they should take it. However, um, Bakers is just 
one of those teams that just keeps coming. And it'll just be interesting to see how they go in regards to um, obviously keeping up with the pace. But if they keep short, sharp kicks, I think they'll they'll be able to obviously um, take home the win. So I don't think I can pick it at the moment, but um, yeah, it will definitely be an interesting contest yeah. um, between them. Well, the, the Bakers girls should be up and about because their under-17s just got up in the uh, under-17 grand final for all those listeners out there. Got up in a nail biter uh, by six points uh, over with Sunday Seagulls. So the girls should have uh, a bit of energy leading into when they run out very shortly. So it's going to be a mouth-watering game. Can't wait for it. And uh, waiting for all the matchups. So it's going to go down to the wire. One thing I like about what uh, Jason Holmes, the, the, we all know that Magpies are going for their fifth flag in a row. But Jason Holmes, the Magpies coach, has tried to say to the girl, we're not talking about five, we're just talking about one. This is a new group. It's a one flag for you girls. This is the only time you play together. So he's trying to keep those girls you know, not get too too wrapped up in that five thing. So I think that's a good thing, the way he's approached that. Yeah, this year they're running without Tina Hancock, Bianca Clark, um, also Ash Maloney through the injury. Um, so it is a really new group. Um, I think they've been, they've had quite a few ins and outs this year compared to Tigers. I know they've had a couple of injuries, but majority of the group have been the same throughout the whole year um, in their key position players whether it be full forward or, you know, through the middle, full back. So I think that inconsistency, Tigers have it, but then do they know how to match up against some of the Hawks players, uh, sorry, some of the Magpies players? Yeah, and that's really interesting for like the Magpies. They have. They've had to learn to win without those girls that have been very influential in, as you said, uh, Tina Hancock, Brianna Clark and Ash Mullaney. All not out there today. So it's a new group. They've had to learn to win a different way. Uh, we'll find out in, a, in about... And now it's time whether they've got the right formula. But, uh, yeah, I reckon it's going to be a great game. The Bakers girls just come out onto the ground now as well. So, yeah, all in readiness for the, for the big one. Uh, I, I guess just one more player that I really want to discuss. And um, Wes and I was pretty surprised that she didn't um, pull a little bit better was Imogen Healy. So playing, obviously, full forward myself, um, I could kind of see the structure and how people set up. So when it comes to a contest, she'll usually sneak out the back and she's not very loud. She's just kind of quiet as a mouse, sneaks out the back, runs through the middle, takes two bounces and kicks a goal. So she's, I think she kicked about 11 goals herself this year. So she's going to be really one. If they can watch her, I think that's where the game really breaks down. Um, she's, a, I guess, that link player from either a stoppage or from the back line to the forward line. So if, she can, um, if she's on today, I think that's their number one player. Yeah, definitely. And, and the key that I think is going to be, they, when they get the chance in front of goals, they've got to kick the goals. I think that hurt the Saints last week. I think they kicked like eight behinds uh, and, and it hurt them. And when Magpies had the opportunities in front of the goals, they converted. So goals are very important in women's footy, uh, I believe. So they really need to get on the board early, convert them goals and uh, put all the pressure on the opposition. Yeah, that's correct. Um, it's it's going to be obviously a big one for Megan Allard. I think, you know... If you're going to be the number one goal kicker in the league, um, you should own it. And, you know, she should go in pretty confident today. Yeah. And um, it's about really playing her at centre half forward and making sure she stays to that structure. Um, and sometimes it's not about kicking the goals, but just making sure then your full forward has the best opportunity as well. They like to play a little bit of a quicker run. Into, they don't um, kick to the centre half forward. Usually Megan will run back. Um, into the space and then kick a goal from there. So it'll be really interesting to see how they how she plays today and where she moves. Um, but I feel like if she s sticks to what she's been doing all season, it's obviously working, um, they should come out. Yeah, another key factor for me is how Baker's Creek, very first grand final. We know some of the Magpies girls have played in grand finals, like Brooke Rowlands, Lily Tarlington, uh, Aaron Saltmarsh, Popperwell, all of them. They've played in three or four uh, of the grand finals, so nerves mightn't be so much for them. It's going to be interesting to see how the Bakers girls, who are in their very first grand final, how they handle the probably first quarter sort of thing. You know, because there is going to be a bit of nerves there. We all know this, that when you get out there in a big game, it, it is really hard to try and curb your nerves. I personally wouldn't know. Um, <laughs> I've never played anyone myself, but uh, watching a lot of football, obviously you want to make sure Bakers really have to be uh, thick-skinned. They can't get sucked into anything. They can't get sucked into being too physical too early. Uh, otherwise, they're going to just exhaust themselves too quickly. Um, Bakers, uh, sorry, Magpies know that they've got to play the longer game and they know that they've got to really play it out, um, hold off a little bit and then go. So I think um, that's where, obviously, 
they've got a lot of experience. However, Baker is, has the unknown. They, they don't know exactly the um, potential they've got, but they're running very confident. I spoke to Rixie, their coach, during the week, and he says they've got the most they've ever had to training, which is really good. Grand finals usually do that. Yeah, um, they draw them out in the grand finals. Everyone comes out of the woodwork. Yeah, but they're running very confident down at Baker's Creek, which is good to see. And it's obviously fantastic to see. You know, they came into the competition in the second year, and they've developed from that. So. Yeah, another key player for Magpies Big. She's been really influential in the last couple of weeks. Uh, is Hannah Hillman. Uh, played down a bit of footy down at Laboratorial Tigers for the women's there. Uh, very good player. Uh, really uh, can run all day. Is very fit. Uh, is really, really athletic. So she's going to play a key role in that middle section of the ground as well. Yeah, I was speaking to her before the game. She said that she prefers a bit of a tagging role, um, which I think suits her really well. As you said, she can run all day. Uh, it'll be interesting to see whether she goes to Imogen Healy, uh, whether she runs... Uh, with her, I hope she does because I think it'd be a really good contest and then um, see how she handles that kind of pressure as well Yeah, alright, the girls are over there, they're lining up for, for the national anthem, I reckon the nerves will be starting to kick in uh, All the umpires are out there, it's a picture perfect day here at uh, Harrow Park We're tucked up over here on the nice and shady side, not out in that beating down sun, it's going to be pretty hot out there uh, Looking forward to a really great game between uh, Mighty Magpies and Bakers Creek Tigers And we're all in readiness for the 2018 AFL Mackay AFL Women's Grand Final. Are all the umpires not getting a photo out the front? With a girl that we know quite well there, Jennifer, in uh, Lauren Bella, Gold Coast Suns Academy player who's come through our system and will hopefully be drafted in October. So we're going to get Lauren over here for a bit of a talk at half time during this game. Really looking forward to having a talk to Lauren. Yeah, 
Yeah, so she's just going to give us an idea of what the journey's been like, obviously from grassroots up to where she is now down in Brisbane. So it's obviously for us, we've managed to uh, watch her progress and it's um, very exciting with the potential of obviously being drafted. Yeah, and any of the these young girls out there playing today, they can see the pathway that Lauren's come through. So it's fantastic that she's come back to her grassroots here in Mackay, come back, come down, watch the grand final. She's probably got a few mixed feelings uh, being an ex-Bakers Creek player, so she'll definitely be going for the Tigers. And uh, there's another player there, I don't know who there's at. We'll have to try and find that out. There's another uh, young girl there from the Sun. So yeah, great to see Lauren come back down there. And uh, a couple of big announcements coming up, I believe, in the next couple of weeks, but we can't go into that too much. We'll find out. Keep your eyes peeled to the media and the radio and the TV. A few big announcements coming up. That's it, mate. They won't even tell us, unfortunately. Right. So we're, we're like everyone else and has to wait. So, um, yeah, but something yeah. big is coming and it's very yeah. exciting. So, yeah. And let's hope uh, Lauren Bella's name gets read out on the October 23 at the draft and be the first player from Mackay to ever be drafted into the women's AFL. Going to be a big date. Lock that one in there if you're listening out there. October 23 will be the draft. All right, All right so here we go. We have Magpies going to the left from the Harrop Park side. Yep. So uh, let's have a look at where people are matching up. Yeah, well, Megan Allard and Rebecca Popple have well lined up down in the square. Uh, Jay Willis has gone to Megan Allard, as we spoke That's the about. That's we wanted. Yep. Uh, Emma Rostrum's in the ruck for, for Magpies along with Madison McDonald from Bakers Creek. Hannah Hillman is lined up right next to Geordie, so yeah. obviously the best and fairest winner yeah. from last year. And Wallace Randall, she's gone into the middle. She was named in the forward pocket. Bit of a change there by coach Jason Smith. First tap out. So Geordie Cruz. Tapan gets the ball, goes forward, looking for a mark. Oh, good intercept mark there by Jay Willis on the half-back line. Kicks it forward, long down the line. Kicked it straight to a Bakers Creek player. That's Imogen, so we've already mentioned her in the lineup. Massive kick on it, goes deep, no push in the back from Jay. Plays on and it should be called a ball up here from the umpires. First stoppage, what did you think of the clearance from Geordie? Yeah, very good, nice and quick. Uh, got first use of the footy, got her hands on the ball early. Give her a little bit of confidence. Here's a ruck word, Emma Rostrum gets it up in there. I can't quite see who that was, it got rid of it. Goes out on the back high, little, yes. So it's a little Jess out there. And balls it out. Just before the wing, we've got Hannah Hillman that's caught. And she's been caught. Uh, not an incorrect disposal, I should say. So, Bakers go again into their forward line. Big kick deep. Going toward Megan. Drops a mark. Drop the mark. Would have been good for her confidence to pick that one up, Jen. So, we can go back into the... Oh, umpire's called a throw there. It's pointing Baker's way. Good hard to see the numbers from right over there. Uh, long down the line. Wallace Randall's getting into the contest there. Doesn't get it. Comes out the back. Good tackle there by the Magpies players. Oh, umpire's played. What's his paid here? Free kick, yes, hopping in. Brooke Rowlands gets the ball. Looks long down the line, looking for Lily Tarlington. Oh, dropped an easy one there. Mopped up by Bakers by Sky Davey. Back into the middle. Here she is again, Geordie Tapan. She could be dangerous today. Great tackling by the Magpies. Goes out to there to Sade Prosser. Bending over, picks up the ball, does a quick hand. Ball comes out. Bakers on there, very hard to see the numbers. Geordie Tapan again. That's Megan Allard. Megan Allard gets forward. So it's a big kick off the ground for Magpies. We're going to go into the forward line again for uh, Baker's Creek. Not 15, play on. And then we've got a not 15 again, play on. So we've got a stoppage out on the far side from us um, in the Baker's Creek forward line. Oh, good ruck work there by Madison McDonald, winning it, tapping it forward to her. Jay Willis is in there once again, got the ball. Strong tackle applied by Baker's Creek out the side. It's pretty physical at the moment, Jen. Yeah, we knew it was going to be highly contested. Um, so I think it's just going to be the team that can get the most space at the moment is yep. really going to be able to have that run and carry. Oh, great tackle there. Good the boy, Geordie Tapan. She started the game well, hasn't she, Geordie? Uh, a couple of centre clearances, a few free kicks, and she's up and about. So this one's going to be really important for Baker's. Inside their forward 50. 
Oh, unfortunate contest for Zalu. Wrong then. And then Magpies get it out again. Yeah. Not past Baker's Creek. Back Moriarty. Oh, of defence. So this is the contest we've spoken about. Kelly versus Rebecca. And Beck manages to win that one, getting that one over the line yeah. for just a throw yeah. in. And it's all Baker's Creek with a four momentum at the moment. They've had the ball in there 50 probably for the last five minutes. Some boys throws it in. Tap down there, great little tap down. Knocked out. Picked up there by Jay Willis, gets the ball forward. Here she is, Imogen. That's a raking left foot kick. Could it go through? I think it has. Going through. So that's obviously something we spoke about. She just finds herself in the perfect position. As you said, just an absolutely beautiful kick of the yep. football on that left side. So people aren't expecting it. Um, and she can easily kick four or five today if she continues yep. putting herself in that yep. position. Jack Nains will have to look at that, getting then someone on to Young Imogen. She's been dangerous early here in Geordie Tapan. So uh, the early going, it's Baker's Creek. One goal, six to the Magpies, yet to score. Back in the centre, and umpire Robin Miles will have this ball up. So Imogen's actually running free at the moment behind Maddie. So yeah, maybe Magpies look to need to send someone around to man her up. Uh, she can't just be sitting out the back like that. They'll, she'll tear them up all day. Hannah Hillman working hard in there. Coming out Baker's way again. They've gone forward again. Good tackle there played by Rostrum. Wallace Randall's attacking the ball. Megan Allard, good use of the body. Gets it out, kicks it forward. Young Rebecca Popperwell coming out to meet it for Magpies. Kicking it forward, that's it. Just get it forward at any cost, they reckon. Foot race on here. Still shunning it forward out here, coming towards us on the wing. Oh, good work by her, but unfortunately went straight into the hands of the of the Baker's Creek. Lisa Stipplewick. Really good result for Magpies yeah. there. Um, Beck obviously working overtime, keeping it forward, and that's what it's about in women's football, just making sure we get that ball forward at all costs. So really yeah. good result. We're going to throw it in uh, in the half-back line for Magpies. Brooke Rowlands, one of our young up-and-coming stars, gets the ball, kicks it. Here we go, Aaron. The back. Yes, good mark by Ebony Rich there. Turn of clearance. Beck Moriarty drops this easy mark there. Not taken. Baker's working hard in there in the stoppages, as you said. Lisa Stipplewick has it. So her Imogen's going to get another ball, another chance here. She just puts Watch. herself in the perfect position. Yep, there she is. Here she goes. Can she pick it up? Going to that left foot. She's still going. Yes, she has. Very dangerous early. Magpies need to do something about that. Ball thrust forward here. Beck Popperwell probably needs to tap it through there. Great tackle applied. It's kicked off the ground. Just through for a minor. Move behind up. Baker's all the early going. One goal, one. And the Baker's Creek Tigers are up and about. Geordie Tapan and Imogen really hurting Magpies at the moment. Need to lock down on them, I believe. Beck Popperwell goes out the far side of the ground. Probably not the best side to kick it into. One on three. Yes. Imogen kicks it back in again. Another stat to her. Kick from Baker's. And a second goal. It's all Bakers at the moment. Can't quite see who kicked that goal. We might get a number when she comes out here. Up, uh, I'm going to put some money win. on it. Is it, it the is captain? It looks like even Macy, uh, Zali's sister. Macy Ronald. So it's Bakers Creek, two goal, one to make boys yet to score. That's where Bakers seem to be very uh, dangerous um, on their... Defence, if they can cause a stoppage inside 50, they're very good in regards to um, their sweepers coming through and uh, cleaning it up for them and, and giving them another scoring opportunity. Yeah, and they persist with this uh, letting Imogen stand out the back here. They need to send someone around or make pies because she just seems to be winning the centre of clearances. Great tackle there by Geordie Tapan. Great tackle. She's on early. Both those girls, Jordan Tapan and Imogen. So... So another kick into their forward line. There hasn't been any marks inside 50 yet. But they're so good at their feet. So this is going to be a stop here. Dropping the ball there. Very shortly. Now we've got a kicking in danger. And it's going to be Magpies free kick. Just in the pocket of the Magpies defence. Going to bet Popperwell. She looks out on the far side of the ground. Looking for Brooke Rowlands. Oh, great tackle apply over there. Not quite sure who that is, but ball and all tackle. Oh, and the umpire's pretty hot on that. Don't know about that. Don't yeah, know if you had any prior opportunity prior. with that one, but 
she ran into a brick wall mm -hmm. and unfortunately uh, didn't work in her favour. I think that's Manny McDonald that apply that tackle. Can't quite see. Yes, it is. And yeah. very good friend. She's telling him go back. She's going to roost this one through, I think. Big kick up. Right. Any flyers? Oh, lucky Imogen was out there again. They really need to lock down on her. She's causing all sorts of trouble. Jay Willis out here in the far pocket. Good tackle applied. I'm going to see this one. says I'll, I'll have the ball here. Thank you very much. So you can see Imogen running off now at the back of the contest. She's in perfect position again. I'll and Magpies, no one to go with her. They need to get someone to lock down on her. So we see Erin uh, going to her now. Yeah. Quick pick up from Hannah Hillman. Oh. Drop mark from Erin. And Imogen comes out with the football. Touch ball, play on. Little Tashanti kick yes. into the Ford 50, and that one yep. is going to be out on the full. What so, would you say uh, to Magpies at the moment? Well, so I'd say to Magpies, they need to find someone to go to both Geordie Tapan and Imogen. They are absolutely killing them at the moment, uh, and they need to stick with them. They can't just go for them for a couple of minutes. They've got to lock down on them, lock down hard, try and get back in the contest. It's been all Bakers in this first quarter. Very dangerous kick there across goal. Kicked off the ground, and it's 3-0. You must never kick across the face of goal. Uh, so that's, that's uh, Macy Ronald again. So she'll definitely be letting her sister, Zali. No, that she's kicked a couple. <laughs> yes. But and again, it's just that once it hits the ground, they've just got so many predators around that. So. Well, my boys have been shell-shocked at the moment. They haven't even had the ball inside their 50 for the whole of the quarter. Not yet. So we'll see how they line up for this. Uh, yeah, a few changes. They've thrown Jay Willis into the ruck. Let's see if someone goes around to Imogen on the far side. Still, no one. Yeah, when, yeah, that's really disappointing, obviously, yeah. watching. Brooke's closest, but we know that she's a bit of a, an attacking defence player, so she, she likes to run free herself. Yep, Lily so, Tarlington into the ruck now there. So just trying to bring Lily into it a little bit more yeah. with her experience. There we go, Imogen again, long raking left foot forward into a forward contest. I think that was Kessie Forsyth there, they just dropped that mark. Good attempt, quick handball there. Bakers were fighting really hard when they've got in the 50. There we go. There's the other one that's been turning them apart. Geordie Tapan. Nice mark there. For their first uh, mark inside 50. Looks like Kessie side, I think. Yeah, so that's, we'd say, 20 metres out directly in front. Yep. And Kessie's only a young girl, young 15-year-old. Loads it up and... Ooh, missed to the right-hand side. It's a point. Luckily for Magpies, that was a point, I think, Ken, because it's all Baker's Creek at the moment. Ooh, someone better get a hand someone on this one. Someone needs to touch that. That'll be a free kick. It's Baker's Creek. To Madison McDonald should take that. I think she was closest there. No one touched the ball. The umpire says, yep, that's correct. Kick to Madison. Two Baker's girls just sitting in the middle there. No one on them. Imogen's run out here again. She's not saying, but this is a big, a kick, big kick to the hot spot. And that is just going to go through for one behind. So, score at the moment. Lakers Creek, three goals, three. 21 to make by yet to score. That's it. They've just got to play that calm yep. football. Just calm it down, slow it down, so. chip it around, try and get a forward entry. Oh. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that is definitely a high yeah. tackle from Geordie there. So I think that's now going to be uh, Hannah Hillman. She's going to yeah. go back, recover, and hopefully get it one kick closer to their forward line. Right, in and under kick. Let's play on. Forward entry, first forward entry for, for the main boys. And we've got number one, Jessica Doran. Oh, really Jessica quick, Dan. Jessica. As a shot, they need a goal desperately here, the Magpies. But well mopped up out the back there by Bakers. Don't he comes know. out, here we go. The girl we've been talking about, Imogen, great tackle. Magpies get there in numbers in three. Jay Willis picks the ball up. Oh, well tackled by Bakers again. Might get a ball up here. Yep, umpire Robin Miles said we'll have a ball up. So we'll just quickly have a look at how they're setting up. See how Bakers have won that extra down back? Yep. Um, so I think score's going to be the one that chops most of it off. Yeah. And then and Madison McDonald's moved back there as well. 
So really smart football by the Bakers Creek girls having one back there spare. Lily Tarling then gets the ball, kicks it forward. Gets it over mm -hmm. all of them. And Jess is able Jess to it. cause a contest. Jess kicks it forward. Here's a chance for Allison. Yes, yeah, good mark, mark there by Alison Jackson. First year of football, Alison Jackson. A new up and coming. Uh, very good. I like her. She's very quick, athletic, fast. Gets a chance. If Magpies ever needed a goal, Jen, she needs to go back and slot it. Yeah, I mean, she's experienced. She's played 12 games for 12 goals. Yep. And unfortunately yep. misses this one to the right hand side. Yep. They could have done with I would have loved to get a goal there, just to give them a bit of self-belief. I guess as long as they've got it down there now, um, hopefully they can lock it in and create something. Oh, good mark there by Brooke Rowlands. Don't know if she's quite got the distance there. Uh, need to get a, get a few tools down there. She looks in for a partner in crime, Lily Tarlington. She drops the mark. Shadow Possum mopped up out the back there. Manus McDonald, long raking kick. It's all magpies out here. Three. Young Wallace Randall, will she take him on? Yes, she does. Gets it in line, nice and long. Over the back, mopped up there. Great talk by Sasha yeah. there. She caught that one from a mile away and yep. was able to actually mark well. it as well. So she's going to kick to Imogen. Unfortunately, drops a mark. Well done. Wallace Randall mopped it up. Brooke Rowlands could take a mark here. Oh, and she that has. Is that is a great contested mark by Brooke Rowlands. 2v1. Uh, she was sandwiching that. They're meeting the sandwich and managed to come through with the mark. So she's really just got to calm herself down. She can kick goals. We already know that. So if she can get this one, it's that seven point turn around. On the siren and, and she's, she's got kicked it. it. It's exactly what uh, Magpies needed. So quarter time score, we've got Baker's Creek 3-3, 21 to Magpies 1-1-7. And, if, and that goal on the siren, that could be a game breaker. It could just give them a little bit of confidence and self belief. But yeah, I, I tend to think that the, the end bakers, the kicking team, might be the scoring end. But uh, yeah, they really needed a the goal there. And uh, But it was all bakers that quarter. They come out firing, they were tackled with intensity. Jordan Tapan and uh, Imogen got out the back, got loose, ran forward, created opportunities up forward, and they capitalised, kicking uh, three goals. Yeah, that's correct. And hopefully, Magpaws could come out now and come with a little bit more composure, especially out of that back line. Their back line ran, um, you know, their hearts out and really had to work overtime. But it's about, obviously, opportunity. If you can get in forward, then you've got to use that opportunity because we know with uh, football, sometimes it doesn't happen often. But if you're the one who can kick more, more goals with those opportunities, then it's usually, uh, you know, that's how the end result happens. And quarter time is probably a chance for Coach Jason Ames to talk to his girls, uh, get them regrouped. Get them focused, say, look, probably didn't have the best quarter, but hey, look, we kicked a late goal. We're up and about now. Let's go forward. Uh, he probably needs to talk to them about, as we said, uh, manning up on uh, Imogen at the at the centre centre bounces and also Geordie because they're actually uh, just doing what they like at the moment with no one standing on them. Yeah, as I said, you don't have to put a hard take. You don't have to necessarily take yourself out of the game. Just stand next to them because those are the kind of girls who are going to get you into the game as well. So it's not like they do anything that is extra special. All they're doing is putting themselves in the best position possible. And we saw Imogen collect a number of possessions and um, opportunities from just sneaking out the back and, um, you know, sitting in the right spots. Yeah, and probably... Two girls we just spoke about Imogen and Jory would definitely be leading the stats at the moment. And uh, Manny McDonald started off pretty well for Bakers Creek as well. Yeah, really impressed with her um, kicking, obviously working with her with the Suns Academy. Um, she wasn't very confident in that, but we've actually seen quite a few kicks and, you know, all, she knows what she's got to do and it's just about getting it in long and deep. And then, um, you know, the small forwards in someone like Macy Ronald um, can go through and collect it. Yep, all right, we'll take a short break. We'll be back shortly. As we said, the score at the moment in the Women's AFL 2018 Grand Final. The Bakers Creek Tiger Rex, I might call them, 3 3 21 to the Mackay Magpies 1 1 7.
So we're all in readiness for the second quarter here. I think Magpies need to get the first goal here. That is definitely the case, I believe, Jim. So uh, let's see what happens. Madison McDonald in the ruck, up against. Yes, they finally got someone to go around to Young Imogen. Uh, it looks like Lily Tarlington or Brooke Rowlands has been given the job. First centre clearance, all locked up there. Umpire Robin Miles says, I'll have it. Good tackle in there by the Bakers girls. Jay Willis. Ooh. Wallace Randall gets the clearance there, is going forward. Lily Tarlington leading out to it. Kicks it forward, needs to bend over and pick it up, which she tries. Little short kick there. Baker's Creek, there she is. She snuck out the back again. Imogen onto that raking left foot, moves it forward. So we go, Megan Allen right. kicks it into their centre half forward. Uh, but we've got Magpies to clean it up. Here's Imogen. Healy just kicks it off the ground. A bit of a scuffle. Tries again. A little bit better. Uh, but we've got again Magpies yeah. here to clean Lisa it up. Lisa Stivovic handballs it out. Gets it going forward. Jay Willis picks it up. Good tackle coming here. She gets the ball forward. Coming to Lily Tiling. It's down the ground, says the umpire. Certainly late. It was high and late. So it should be actually down Yeah, it further. should be downfield. But anyway, umpire Will Moore says no. We'll bring it back here. The wing here. Yes. We've got Wallace. Randall. Wallace Randall, she might mark this over the back. She's got plenty of pace, we know that. Good foot race here. Her and the, the Baker's girl. Oh, she works her inside out. Gets it onto her right foot. And Alison Jackson just unfortunately uh, stumbles a mark over the boundary line. Deep out near the deck. Plenty of patrons over here today, Jennifer. Yeah, it's a really good turnout so far. And obviously we know it's just going to get bigger and bigger. There we uh, go. The next few games. Baker's Creek players still getting loose. They're not manning them up at the stoppages and it's really hurting Magpies. Here we go again. Young Jess gets the thing. Needs to get a kick. Oh, great evasion skills there. Gets a handball out. Yeah, to Lily Tarkton. She's wrapped up. Girls. Umpire says, I'll have that. Let's see if they man up at the stoppages. We've got a lot of Bakers down back. Lily Tarlington, good ruck work there. Sends it out to her partner in crime, Brooke Rowlands. She gets the ball going forward there. But need to be in front. Donna's muffed it up. That's a Baker's Creek captain. So Donna's going to come out to the straight through the, the middle. And we've got Brooke Rowland. Yeah. Another contested mark. Another contested mark. mark. She's been strong for them. Keeping them in the game. Plays She's on. Good. Kicks it down deep. Into the forward line. Nothing but Tigers. With a bit of a... And it's a goal. And they've got the yeah. first for the Allison quarter. Jackson once again. I told you, she is quite quick. She snuck out the back then. Little grubber off the ground. And the score is Magpies 2-1-13. Uh, trailing the Bakers Creek Tigers 3-3-21. So uh, desperately needed a goal to kick off the second quarter, Jen. Yeah, that's really, really important. As you spoke about it earlier, it's definitely the, um, the side to kick goals. I don't know why. <laughs> um, I couldn't tell you, but there's something about having the crowd behind you. That um, obviously helps as well. So they're going to set up here again, and Brooks gone straight to Imogen. So yep. that's that's what we wanted to see. Yeah, definitely need to go man on man in there because they are getting beaten a little bit. Baker's Jay Willis has been good since she's gone on the ruck. They moved her from centre half back into the ruck and sent Hannah Hillman to Megan Allard. Good move by Jason Haynes. Oh, good tackle there by Imogen. Great tackle. And umpire Robin Miles said, "I'll oh, ball it up out here on the wing." She was definitely never going to beat her with speed. Tried to evade her, and yep. she was lucky enough that it was called, obviously, um, yep. just a ball up. Yep. There's Imogen again, her and Jordy trying to work together there. Come on out. Brooke Rowland's working really hard. She's really picked up a game for the Magpies. Joe Willis has got that. Another handball out. Goes to Wallace Randalls. Out the back to Beck Moriarty. Probably kicked handball when she should have kicked it. She went and mopped up her own mess. Donna, yes, and it's come out the back again. Alison Jackson, can she kick another one? That's not going to be no, 15, no, that's probably not but 15, but the umpire has. Mark. So they're going to play on anyway. It's a big thumping kick out. Uh, Wallace Randall trying to mark it and then clean it up. Then we've got Sasha, who's handballed it. Doesn't go as yeah. far Great as... Great tackle by Beck Moriarty from the make boys there. Forward line. So they're going to get another chance here to kick it inside their 50. Yeah, and momentum swung a little bit. That late goal I said in the in the first quarter has helped out. They've kicked the first goal there, and they're having all the inside 50s at the moment. So out to Lily Tarlington here. It was really smart not to go deep because yep. you obviously can see how many... Um, yeah, it's really congested in there, isn't it? Yeah, Bakers have back there. So they've gone for a little bit of width, and it was a great lead put on by Lily Tarlington, and she'll go back for her hopefully first. 
So Lily's running in. Can she finish it? Looks good off the boot. Hasn't made the distance and she's got it. So a perfect way to start for Lily. Uh, a real confidence player. Uh, so that this is really going to uh, help Magpies go forward. So currently we've got Bakers Creek 3-3-21. Magpies 3 one, 19. so only three points into it, Downsy. Yeah, and probably Magpies might have started off a little bit nervous. Uh, quite a few girls, as we said, haven't played as well as Baker's girls. Uh, they've been able to settle. Uh, last week they had to come from behind with the Saints, and uh, today they're back in the contest. It's uh, only two points in it. Now, Game on. Manny McDonald looks a bit frustrated at the moment, so it'll be interesting to see how that affects the rest of her game. Jay Willis has been really good since she's gone in the middle of the ruck with them, but unfortunately there, umpire said you didn't get rid of it correctly, and that's Shatante. To Shanti, you were so close. <laughs> Help Sorry. me out, Jen. <laughs> <laughs> Big kick forward, she's looking for Zali, doesn't quite get her. Hannah Hillman's in there, little toe Good. poke, Jess Doring kicks it into the middle yep. uh, where Maddie's stopped it, and we should see. Oh, that's the two medial girls there going, aren't it? Wallace Randall and Manny McDonald. Very physical players, yeah. both of those girls. So we might just see she Imogen is again. kick Snuck it there. into their forward 50. We can see Zali's gone up for this. Maybe overran it a little bit, managed to collect it. Oh, great, great tackle, tackle, Wallace Randall. Not and rewarded by the umpire. Hannah Hillman gets yeah. the handball out. Didn't go far Good enough. Contested football, Sarah in there. Gets the ball out. Lisa Stipplewick, the captain. Big ball here, it's three on one main pass. They should win it. So oh, Lawrence wow. come away with the win for Baker's there. Great work. Quick. Kick forward and it should be over the line for a ball up. Really good work. She didn't, knowing that she had three people behind her, she didn't stop momentum and she kept running forward yep. and just at the football. So, really good stuff yeah. from Lauren. Yep, Lauren. I'm Wallace not going to attempt it. Rosman yeah. Brinkley. <laughs> but we'll just call her Lauren. But yes. <laughs> so, we've got Tashanti cleaning up with that clearance. Kicks inside 50. No mark. Play on. Snuck out the back here. Anything could happen here. It's rushed through for a behind. So it just seems like Magpies go a bit flat footed in that defensive 50. Instead of waiting, like they're just waiting to yep. tackle instead of just trying to go for the yep. football. So they've really got to be a little bit more proactive there. We've Beck got a very well. dangerous oh, kick. Oh, two Baker's girls collide there. Not good footy. Beck Mariotti, she's coming in. There's Lauren Rosemary de Brinkley will go. Great tackle. Great tackle again. Beck Moriarty, that's a feature of her game. She's really good with those tackles. She needs to come out of this side to Lily. She's looked for her. Lily, great lead. Oh, great good hands. set of hands. Good set of hands by Lily Tarkington. Right out here in front of us on the school, on the wing. She looks down long, looks for a friend, Brooke Rowlands. Oh, kick goes over the top of her. Lauren's been good for Bakers back there in defence. Maybe could have let that go out. Oh, great evasive work there. Looks back inside. Just doesn't go past Jay, Jay Willis. Jay Willis, she's been good, hasn't she, since she's gone yeah. into the ruck for them. She's Quick to get that football forward. Yep. No mark. Uh, Lawrence tapped it forward. We've got There's Beck Moriarty with another tackle. Just kicks it forward yep. off the Wallace ground. You've Randall. got. Oh, she kicks yeah. it deep. Oh, well, there's the no one there for Magpies. We need someone to get up the centre half forward. Kath Tarlington's scrapping in there. Does it well. Magpies girls working well. Beck Moriarty in there again, but it comes out. Here's Lauren again on that left foot. Great smother, Brooke Rowlands. And a tackle, backs it up with a tackle. Great work. Alison Jackson comes out. Oh, gets it on the foot somehow. Lily Tarling with an air swing. I think both teams just need a yeah. stoppage here just to reset. Yeah. And it continues in Kath the Tarlington center half forward working tooth and nail in there. That's the mother of uh, Lily Tarlington. Oh, is that around the legs? No, says the umpire. Lily Tarlington comes out with it. Good tackle. Umpire says dropping the ball. And this is where I think Lily's probably a little bit better. It's yep. got a little bit more freedom. Yep. Um, off that, uh, the forward flank. So that was Tash, was it, that made that tackle? That there, Sasha. Made Sasha. So fierce competitor, Sasha. Yeah. Madison McDonald, another long raking kick down there. Good match up this one. I like the look of this now. Hannah Hillman and Megan Allard. Both girls having a forward here. Hillman. Yeah, well done by Megan Allard. Hannah Hillman comes out the other side, but long raking kick back. Could be marked over the back, but Maddie McDonald gets it on the half back flank there. So yeah. she just had to put up a contest there. Yep. Another searching kick by McDonald. Knocked forward. Magpies working hard together. Jay Wallace, another mop up. She's been great this quarter for the, the Magpies. Great move by Jason Holmes to get her into the ruck there and move Hannah Hillman out. Geordie Tappen. She's got it. Got to be quiet. A nice big tall people. 
It's a foot race. Megan Allard's got it. Oh. Hi. Oh. Hannah so, Hellman doing a good job back there on Megan Allard. Yeah, it was definitely a matchup we didn't see coming. No. Um, but it's it was really forced on them with, really with, uh, with um, Bakers getting on top in the middle. So Jason Holmes swung her and Jay Willis around. It seems they've paid dividends. Yeah, so this is the kind of football they want to play now. Just get uncontested possessions. Yeah. Kick forward, Mark. Kick forward, Mark. But unfortunately, yeah. that one wasn't marked. Great tackle. May have been in the back, but it's play on. Play on. And here we go. Lily Tarlin's got a mark here. Maypo's really working her way back into so the game here. Brooke is pushing hard here. We'll see yep. whether she can actually find yeah, her. She, she has. has. Ooh, foot race here. Two so on one. Lauren's been good for all. Baker's back there. Great tackle. Great tackle. But who's mopping up? Energen. She's just very smart. Oh, this has gone straight to Jay Willis, who's been a key in the second she, quarter for Magpies. She really just has to hold it here. Yep. Slow it down. down there. There it is. She's going for Lily Tarlington. Not a bad one. Ooh. Oh, that's nearly a push, but umpire missed it. Good tackle. Tap out there by the back. Magpies really need to apply the pressure here, which they are doing really well. Oh, unfortunately, Wallace Randall just gets her a bit high. So Lauren, been really Lauren. good for Bakers back there on the halfback flank. Mopping up everything, working hard. She runs and carries as well with the football, so it's been really good. She looks Imogen for snuck out the back of Brooke there. A little bit of fatigue setting in. You can see Megan's running hard. Hannah's gone in. That's it. She's gone into her space a little bit, didn't she? So yeah, very she clever. did. Just made it hard for her. Megan's kept going. Oh, though. great turn. Blind the turn there. Got a Jordy. Oh, pressure. He ducked out of that. Got it forward. Emma Romstrom comes through, mops it up nicely. Shepard put on by Aaron Soldmarsh. Great work there. Kessie Forsyth lets it go over the boundary line. So Zali and Jay yeah. Lewis in the ruck now. Yeah, bit of fatigue setting in here. All the girls looking, looking a little bit tired. Zali wins that ruck contest, mops up her own work, goes forward. Kessie Forsyth coming out to meet the ball. Sarah knocks it back there. Sam Romstrom. She picks the ball up, breaks the tackle, goes long down the line, and will I get the bounce? Zali Ronald intercepts, takes a bounce, goes forward. It's all just Baker's here. Just popped it in the perfect position, but no yeah. one ran at it. But we know that Bakers are so good off the ground. It's just a bit of a handball, and then nothing handball, then nothing. So we'll see what happens. Hannah Hillman grabs a football, evades one, onto the boot. That'll do. Brooke Rowlands really needs to mark this because they're under a bit of pressure. Keeps her feet. Jay Willis plays on, gets oh, that great one hand. handball out. Kicks it forward, not past. Yeah, Lauren. A great Lauren, really good back there. How big has Jay Willis been for? Magpies this half. She could Quarter. be the one that changes it. Ooh. Unfortunately, she got caught. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, when you're running through that many tackles, it's bound to happen once or well, twice. Well, she has changed the game. She's brought Magpies right back in it. They're only trailing by two points after being being high by three or four goals. Yeah, I definitely tell her. I would, wouldn't tell her to change anything. Just keep doing what she's doing. Fortunately, Magpies have had a chance now to get numbers back. So hopefully it should be man on man. But as you can see on the far side, someone's free. No mark down there. So it's just a scuffle on the ground. They've handballed it back, which is pretty dangerous. Lucky that came out because Imogen was away. She'll go long down the brook here. Take it. She's going to take him on. She does. Oh, Ooh. off hands. This is a good battle between Lauren and Lily Tarlington. Really good. Good hands there. Inside here. Back to Lauren. She looks in board. Here comes Manny McDonald. She'll meet this. Takes a mark. She's going to be a big kick into their yeah. forward line. She's telling them we're going to kick it long. Her meteorite partner in crime, Wallace Randall, stands a mark. She looks long again. Kicks and deep into the back of the line. Oh, Zali Ronald comes out to meet it. Unfortunately... Didn't quite grab it. Jay Willis back there again. She's been a power of strength for the Magpies. Gets a handball out. Megan Allard looking to mop it up. She yeah, doesn't. Lisa a bit of a it. She gets a kick out going her way. Who's out there? Jordy. Chard A. Prosser trying to track her down. But she gets it. Kicks it deep forward. Good contest here. That's Sarah. Sarah. So they're going to go for the switch kick here. Yeah. It was on. And it's on. Wallace Randall's out here by herself. She's got the legs in. to run. She can. She can so get she's just got to make to sure people push over as well. Brooke. Good tack. Good, good football there. Playing a little bit of composed. Down. She's just over kicking that one, yeah. isn't she? So Lily's going to make that yep. judgment as That's well. That's probably not a bad result, but ball out of bounds. 
Yeah, just give them a chance to reset here. So there's actually not much, there's so much room in the Magpies forward line. If they can get it in quick, yep. I, I guarantee they'll get a goal from that. So she's about trying to get that one forward as quick as possible. Ball's thrown in, it's a bit of a scuffle on the ground, not much is happening with that one. And then that's going to be called half time. And that's half time, and then half time in the women's AFL grand final. It's the Bakers Creek Tigers just with their nose in front. 3 4 22 to the Magpies. 3 1 19. And great second quarter by the Magpies. With uh, coach Jason Holmes swinging a few changes, he moved uh, Hannah Hillman back to centre half back, threw Jay Willis into the centre of the ground, and she was. Uh, Really strong from that quarter. I think she would have been the leading stat getter in that quarter for sure. Yeah, definitely. It was all he's got to do now is not change it. I know there's still three points behind, and you know he could make a couple of changes, but stick to the structure. It seems to be working. Um, and then you know just say if something happens in the last quarter, that's when you make the change. But this one, it's working at the moment. Stick to it, bag your girls, and be positive. Yeah. Because that's a really positive outcome to only be three points behind at half time compared to I think it was 14 or so. Yeah, no, definitely agree with you there, Jen. I don't want him to change anything. It seems to be working at the moment, and they had uh, all the momentum on that quarter, so if he sticks to that structure, hopefully they, it, it does the same for him again in the third quarter. So, yeah, right. looks like we're in for a nail-biting second half. Can't wait very shortly. Uh, hopefully Lauren Bella will work away way around here so we can have a bit of a talk to her, the young uh, Gold Coast Suns prodigy who we hope will get drafted on October 23. So, uh, yeah, we'll be back shortly once Lauren gets around here. We jump in the middle. <laughs> All right, hello everyone, and uh, it's been really, uh, really entertaining game of women's football, and we've been lucky enough to be joined by one of the Gold Coast Suns Academy girls that I've had the opportunity of coaching and so has Jen alongside me Lauren Bella really exciting couple of months coming up for you Lauren the women's combine and then October 23 everyone here in Mackay me Jen everyone we're all hoping on October 23 that the name Lauren Bella gets read out you're pretty excited yeah absolutely being drafted is the goal so <laughs> yeah yeah and uh, can you tell us a bit of the process obviously from grassroots you started here um, 
with, I think it was Pioneer Power, or was it Serena Demons? Serena Demons, yeah. Uh, and then what's that like being going through the, I guess, grassroots level, uh, representative level, and then you've obviously played for Queensland, yeah. and then Gold Coast with the um, Winter Series as well. Yep, yeah, got that all right. <laughs> well done. <laughs> um, yeah, so went up through the junior program. Uh, I was, I'm just at a lucky time in my life where Makai Footy was kind of getting up and running with all the women's stuff. Um, but yes, yeah, so I've just gone through representative school, um, and then under 18 championships and that's pretty much led me to where I am today and while I was still living in Mackay I went through all the Suns Academy program. I was lucky enough to be coached by you two but yeah so it's kind of got me to where I am now and now I train um, with the under 18 Gold Coast Suns Academy on the coast. Yeah so you've moved down the Gold Coast, you've yeah. been down there 12 months. The transition, was it hard, was it easy? I know the Gold Coast Suns <laughs> looked after you, got your job, you're yeah. working uh, within the uh, football system I believe. Uh, you're going to uni there at Bond Uni. Mm. You're playing down there, the step up and playing in the actual Waffle down there. Has that been really good for you, you ever believe? Yeah, it's, it's been great. It's um, Mackay at footy is obviously different and it's doing well, but being in the thick of it down there, they've got so much support and it's just been a whole step up and a new level. Yeah. yeah, fantastic. So you've played for Baker's Creek. Uh, your opinion, how are they going so far? <sighs> They're going. <laughs> <laughs> She's looking oh, at the so, scoreboard. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> See, well, they're doing all right at the moment. They're up, which is good. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm really excited to, you know, my home team are in the grand final, and I'm here to watch and support them. So yeah. it's really great. Yeah, and that's what I like. It's really yeah. fantastic that you can come back to your grassroots. You come back to Mackay. Whenever you come here, you come up, give us a hug, and say good day. That's really good that you're really grounded. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping, I'm hoping on October 23 they re read your name out. You get drafted to the Brisbane Lions, and we can watch. I can sit down in front of the TV and mm -hmm. watch you play. There'll be nothing more exciting. I'm sure Jen's the same. You know, it's been great working with you. Yeah. Um, you've probably got a few people to thank, like your family's been instrumental. I know your mum, Cecily. Your brother will just play in the grand final. Yeah. How exciting is that? He'd be, he'd be up and about. Yeah. So uh, great for you to come back and watch your brother play in the yes. grand final. Exactly. Yeah, it's just been whenever I come back home to Mackay, I get to, I always try and involve myself with footy. And, you know, if I do get the opportunity to kind of come back and basically do what I'm doing now, I, I get to come back and support Mackay footy in the yeah. regional areas. Yeah, I guess the final one is um, obviously we've got quite a few people in the academy, uh, females as well, um, and then there's quite a few up and coming females. What kind of advice would you give them, um, starting from the grassroots like you have, mm. and then to go through the system? Pretty much um, my advice would just be to, you know, just enjoy it. If you have a general passion and love for the game, then keep on playing because there is a, a pathway in, in place now, and to be able to follow it and you know, just commit yourself 100% every time and, you know, you're always looked after here. It's yeah. it's very well supported, um, very well organised as well. So, yeah. you know, if anybody does have an interest, um, you'll, you'll be fully supported. All right, Lauren, thanks very much for joining us here today. Very exciting couple of months coming up for you. Can't wait. And as I said, I hope on October 23, I hear the name Lauren Bella read out. I'm qu quietly confident that it will be, but I don't want to count me chickens before the hatch. Yes. Thanks very much for joining me and Jen here. We love you coming to Mackay. We followed you all the way, and all the best uh, going forward in October. Kill them at Combine. Let's get your name read out on October 23. Thank you. Thank you. Great to be home. So, um, All right, here we go, third quarter. It was great having a bit of an interview there with uh, Lauren. Lauren, Jen really enjoyed that. Yeah, as you said, we've kind of watched her grow up through the system, so very exciting to, you know, see what potential she's got, hopefully yeah. in um, October. Yep, and Manny McDonald winning that first centre clearance. Ball mopped up there again by Hannah Hillman, gets the ball forward. Make boys seem to have a two-on-one here. Bounce probably didn't favour him. Sade Prosser in there, gets it out there. She is again, Imogen, early touch, early. 
Ball's moved forward there, can't quite see. Tackle, it's held in. I think we'll have a ball up. And that's what umpire Robert Miles said, just on Senar forward. Baker's attacking end. So ball goes up. We've got Manny McDonald taps it back down to Imogen. Kick into the forward 50. This is going to be a foot race that Beck Popperwell has won. And that's just going to be a throw in down deep into the... Uh, Baker's Creek forward line. Yeah, I think that might be Zali Ronald. They've pushed into the ruck and wasn't Manny McDonald actually. Just looking at that now when I watched it come across there. So Zali's got a clearing kick. Oh, great, yeah, great gang tackle, tackle there. there. Yep. So that's what Baker's uh, Creek that we named earlier that they'd be so good at, and that's just that tackling yeah. pressure that they've got. Now, is that's it Lauren? Lauren again? They've moved to forward. So Lauren's going to go through. Kicks deep into Ooh. the forward 50, not oh, as far as... Good mark. As Who's that? Is that Brooke Rowlands yes, or Lily? Yes, you know Brooke that Rowland's style. Yep. She comes out, smart kick, short, finds... If she turns now, she can see actually Hannah Hillman. That's Wallace Randall. Kicks straight up it. the ground. Contest goes out the back there. Foot race between Hannah Hillman. And Tashante. I like that name, Tashante. Mm. Shante Rose. Shante Rose. So she's and a only, young girl, yeah, yeah, young up and comer. Played in the under 17s and kicked a few goals. Um, playing full forward actually, so yep. very smart player. And we're just going to see the ball go out. Yeah, once and that is again. Zali Ronald. That's in the ruck there now. So we'll have a look. Manny McDonald. Where she's is down she forward, deep, deep forward, deep down in the forward pocket there. <laughs> Ooh. If free kick. To Aaron Saltmarsh there. Unfortunately, because Baker's Creek with uh, Manny McDonald completely outsized, actually. she They just mm. need one high for her. Yep, comes down here. Brooke Rounds will probably mark this again. Oh, probably drop what she should have taken, but she's having a great game. She's been really good for him, instrumental in getting him back in the game in this second quarter as well. Really smart from uh, Teresa. Actually, shepherd out um, Sasha for that marking yep. contest. Unfortunately, they couldn't. We're going to see. There by Megan Allard. Hi, he says. And Brooke gets this one. Yeah. And, and, and Coach Jason Harms moved him around again. He swapped Hannah Hillman and Jay Willis over. Hannah Hillman's gone to Manister and McDonald. And uh, Hannah Hillman's gone into the ruck. So a bit of friendly fire there. Shante and Shade Price are fighting over the ball there. Give it to me, they said. <laughs> so Ronald and Emma Ronson, Ronson wins it. Megan Allard. We haven't called that name very no, often very today. Quiet. So. They've, done, they've done well. They're, oh, Jay Willis, yeah, pushing the back there, says umpire Robert Miles. And we know what Madison McDonald's going to do. She's going to launch it along. So we'll see who they've and got. see Jay Willis is popping back there, but she's gone smart over to Kelly Haggerty. So, again, a very experienced player. Yeah, probably a bit far out to score, I believe. But Well, this is where Manny McDonald's actually free. Um, and she, we know that she got that thumping boot. So Kelly's just going to kick it top of the square. Ooh. Megan's there. It was actually Jay spoiled. Again. Perfect spoil there. Tries to play on, but unfortunately caught up, and there'll be a ball up. Gee, I tell you what, picking uh, best on ground's going to be hard on this. You've got a few people putting their hand up. Jay Willis, Imogen, Manny McDonald, Brooke Rowlands. It's a yep. great game of footy. Personally, mine's still Imogen. Still I think Imogen, she's yeah. Been the one to really change things for Bakers yep. and give him an opportunity. Ooh. And just see a little bit of inexperience there yeah, by Deshaun. Yeah, out of bounds on the full. Mm. Just had to hold that one in, I think. Yep. So Manpower is going to get a chance to counter here. Brooke Wallen's big yeah, kick up there. Good long kick to Emma Ronstrom. Oh, and good mark, good contest. Just there and Zali Ronald. Even if they just continue just working it up yeah. the line. But they've really got to start getting numbers back to their forward yeah. line. Because at the moment, Bakers have a bit of a wall yeah. going. Now, Manny McDonald's <laughs> lurked out the back here. She's playing as like a, a big mid. She, and we and know that's, got it. that's where she likes to play. Yeah. She's ferocious, but she probably reads it really well for yeah. such a tall player. So yeah. that's where you want to just want to running through packs. Yeah. And, and she's fierce at the contest, isn't she? Yeah, absolutely. So there, there she, she goes, goes again. Runs through again. Reading it well. Not as far oh, as Jay Willis, so. I'll tell you what, I reckon she's putting kick. her hand up. It's between her and Imogen at the moment for me, for best on ground. Kick she's through. really got magpies back into the contest as well. There it is, a little kick forward. Doesn't matter how it gets there. Here comes Sasha. So number one, they've got yeah. to stay in front. It's only a little scuffle. Oh, Lauren's got it. Good tackle here. by Wallace Randall there. Managed to Comes get out it. and wing and Allard. Matchups all around the ground here. And Hannah Hillman, Brooke Rowland. Oh, probably dropped what she should have taken. 
So yeah. Brooke was actually very lucky to get the free she kick was. then. Um, she took her eyes off of it yep. and, and was calling to the umpire. Just play the game. Yep. Um, you've That's got what she needs to do. Just get it down the line. Lily, Lily Tarlington needs to lead for her here, but she's just standing stationary, which is playing into their hands. We know that Brooke and Lily are such big kicks. Go deep. Go as far as they can kick it. Yep. There's no point in standing 10 metres away from them. That's it. So we've got Immy yeah, here, shrugs a tackle, kicks it down Good forward to no one. There's a bit of a foot race Jay here. Wallace there again. 2v1. The two Jay we Wallace talked about that up. I said that are probably vie for best on the ground at the moment. And just a bit oh. of a throw there from Magpie. So yes. Jordy's going to get a chance to just kick it down forward. I don't think she's got the distance. Uh, umpire's not going to bring her around the mark. No. But she's going to go for a kick in the forward line. Who can take a big mark, big fly. Knock it through. They've just got to concede the oh, point. It comes out there, Hannah Hillman, who's out there. Imogen, foot race. Beck Moriarty mops up out the back there. And the foot race is, is that Sasha and Beck Moriarty? Uh, Chardé Prosser. Chardé Prosser, yeah. Yeah, good tackle. So just keep it in there, and that should be called That's just... That's a great tackle by the uh -huh. Bakers Creek. What's the umpire paid? He's paid a free kick to him. Yeah, didn't dispose of it correctly. Unfortunately, yeah. I don't think there was much you could do in that situation. Yeah, so Imogen's got it once again. Big thumping left boot. Oh. She's almost found a mark inside 50. Unfortunately, it's just going to be play on here. Balls along the ground. Just got to keep the feet, and it's just going to be tied up here. No, gets, gets rid of it. Brooke Rowland's out the back. Big bounce here, big play. What's going to happen? Here we go. Oh, she is quick. Just on her wrong just, side there. Just yeah. had to turn, didn't she? Gets a quick handball forward. Imogen's got it here. Not called holding the ball, but she'll go again. Here. Just play on, play on. Kick forward over the back. Kelly Hegarty trying to get out the back there. Aaron Saltmarsh looking to kick it off the ground. Nothing in it. Players everywhere. Comes out. Kelly Hegarty goes again. A little bit of a bump there. There we go. Yes, nice hands out there to Hannah Hillman, who goes long. But Jay Willis has to go here, commit. She did. She met the contest. Mops up, being strong at the contest. But over the back, here we go. Need to pick it up. It's coming out the back there a little. So Jess has the got back. the clearance She's there. So it's, it's, her again. it's a foot race. Can she get it through? Oh, well, Matt, good oh, line, good Donna. Come out the other side. So that's from their co-captain, Donna, there. Yeah. Zali's met the football. Perfect bounce up to her. Up. Takes a bounce. Kicks it down forward. Again, hasn't met a target, but yeah, Bakers are all there in numbers. Handball one, handball two, and kick inboard. So can they do something with this? Uh... Beck Moriarty mops up, gets her hands out. And Saltmarsh, another hands to Brooke Rowlands. Here we go, Jay Willis, you're on. It's a foot race between her and Imogen. Great tackle. Definitely uh, should have. Yeah, maybe should have got rewarded there, but didn't. It's come out the back. So a lot of players overrunning it at the moment. Just take That's your time, it. pick it up. We've got a clearance oh, kick here out to go. the far That's side. Wallace Randall out there. If she gets onto this, she'll take a couple she'll of take bounces. A run. She'll take them on, I hope. And she has. She's off. So she's... That's it. I knew Runs she'd take them on. And look at that. Great kick. Here's Alison Jackson. Oh, that's in the back. Got to be umpire. Oh, push her about 10 <laughs> metres forward. Oh. So just Mate not just. probably need to get it in quick here. Yeah. Alison Jackson needs to get the ball in. Lily Tarlington's worked her way down there. Here's a chance to take a mark. Over the back, Shardo Prosser. Can't she get it? Good contact there by Baker's Creek. You just can't Coming go to the side. The... Just can't get a result. Just can't go to the ground. Chante when it's mops up. She's over on the half back. She has a bounce. Chased by Alison Jackson. And here we go. Megan Allard's going to mop the ball up here. Oh, good tackle there. She gets another goal and it kicks it back into the forward here we 50. Go. Beck Moliari and Cassie Forsyth. Cassie Forsyth gets it in long. Two on one here. Magpies, you think, should win. Really oh, well yeah, read Beck there to stay well back. Well. Kicks it out of Brooke around. She's got a bit of traffic around her. So Jordy's Jordy going to... Tappen gets it. What's happening here? It's falling in the hands of Kelly Haggerty. She She's does off. the unselfish thing. Oh, and, and it didn't come off. Sarah's managed to get away. That, you've oh, really just got to back here. 
You have to back yourself yeah, in that Ashley situation. McDonald, quick hands. Oh, another great tackle. Lisa Stidwich. Maypole is tackling well. Alison Jackson, she's going up the ground. Can run. I would have liked to see him taken on there. Goes to Wallace Randall. We know she how good she is with the ball in hand. Ah, oh, great work, Wallace Randall. Great tackling by the Bakers, but umpire says, ball. Again, I'm not too sure, you know, she was tackled straight away, what you do in that situation. She did have um, a little bit of pride when she twisted, but yeah. I think that was with the tackle, but unfortunately she was called and you can't go back on that. So, Bakers are going to get another chance to obviously go forward, not as far as, uh, who's that with it now? That and was Alison Jackson, <coughs> and when she finds Brooke Randall, uh, Wallace Randall, sorry, who drops it, goes back in to try and mop up. Nice hands out the back there. There's Lauren from Bakers, number 14 again. She's been really good out the back. Megan Allen had a very quiet game, Megan. Yeah, she's starting to step it up now. Um, but, yeah, definitely needs to get a couple goals on the board if Bakers are a chance. <coughs> We've only had one point since uh, half-time. There's young Jess again. She's out. So Here's a chance. Brooke Rowland. Brooke take this on. Oh, she's, she's gone conservative. She's found Lily. Lily needs to take him on. She's not. She's kicked long. Shadow Prosser needs to get in front. She does. Oh, I'd say she's held Lily a little bit there, unfortunately, for her. But Tigers have managed to kick this one out. Another foot race. There she is, Jay Willison. It's a two-on-one, so Hannah has to shepherd here. She's done a really... Mika's done a really fantastic job yeah, to get around there. still got it. It's a kick forward. Brooke Rowlands might mark this. Oh, good contested football. Lawrence has been great for him back there. One of their better players down back. Alison Jackson, she can run. Well, I think they're just trying to get away too much at the moment. She's going to be yep, called that's gonna be ball ball. again. Yep, good decision by the umpire. They're just stopping and propping instead of just going. Just got to run with it, yep. don't you? Um, instead of just stopping um, and trying to change direction, just yep. run in a direction. Yep. You worry about the bounce and that later, just run. Megan Allen, as you said, coming in the game now, but she's yeah, kicked that very straight back. Kick. Now she can take him on, Alison Jackson. Here we go, Roll just hold one. it up, hold it up. That's it, slow it down. So you got uh, Lily there, centre half forward. Yep, she's pushing across into the right position. She's got to go to her, don't you? So yep. she's kicked in her direction. Has it come off perfect? Brooke, Brooke Rowland's going to mop this up. Great pressure there by Sasha. Out to Lily Tarlington, she's got to meet it. Oh, well met by the, by the skipper there, Donna. Great stuff, but a great tackle. Gets her hands, get hands free. Yes. So it doesn't get as far as uh, the Magpies girls. And the Bakers just seem to be everywhere, don't they? Yeah. <clears throat> but they haven't got a result on the ball. That's the, you know what I mean? And here we go. Magpies out in front. Oh, umpire's called over the shoulder. That's good that they've called that. It's obviously dangerous when you're going for a mark. Um, so you don't want to be caught high either. So put herself in the perfect position there. Yep. Um, Natasha Scully has a chance to go back, kick a goal. And that's what we want from the forwards. We want to see them run she's forward got the the football. I think Lily needs to push down there. No, I think she's got the distance. I'm going to back her here. Uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> that's the last time I back her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, unfortunately, couldn't get the goal, but... It's a lot better sign for uh, the Magpies there. Yep. They need to try and lock it in here, get a result. Seven point turnaround they're going yep. for, I believe. So it's 3 2 20 to, to 3 4 22. Bakers Creek in front. Out there, Manus McDonald, she's been great for them today. She looks. She looks long down the line. Hannah Hillman meets the ball front on. It's all Magpies here. Gets a little handball out. Knock back again. Jay Willis, as I said, she's been great for him today. She gets it going forward. That's oh, a great, great tackle. tackle by Brooke Rowlands. Umpire says it just come out. Away we go again. Here's Imogen. This could be dangerous. Yep. Just that stop and Oh, prop. good tackle. But she managed to get the kick away. Finds Ali Ronald. She's off. She's played she's on. She's having a bounce. Oh, she's met by Emma Ronstrom. Great hit. I don't know how she disposed of that one, Jamesy. No, I don't know, but anyway, it's play on. It's players going everywhere. It's a great contest, and there it is. So we only had a point each in that quarter. So it's is only a two-point um, game ball. Uh, ball. Ball game. 
Game ball. So Baker's Creek, three goals for 22 to make for us, three goals to 20. Last 15 minutes is going to come down to who wants it. Make Pies probably kicking to what we will end is the favourable end. Did Baker squander a few chances then? Yeah, Baker's really had opportunities there. Um, credit to obviously the Magpies back line, really standing up today. And, you know, we've obviously named, um, said Jay Willis's name quite a few times and Rebecca Popperwell, Sarah. So really credit to those girls um, who are obviously fighting back there. They've got to do better in their forward line. They've got to spread better, get yep. it in quick. Uh, probably their run that they're used to, running carry, um, along the wing, wing and through the middle with um, Lily Tarlington and Brooke Rollins. Probably hasn't been on today, um, but I think that's just a grand final. We know it's going to be competitive, so we've just got to get it in quick and then um, just get something on the board. Yeah, and Santa Clarence is going to be vitally important this last quarter. Who can get it going forward, get it going their way, get it inside the 50, try and lock it in and get a result. So as a coach, what would your uh, words be uh, going into the last quarter, Dancy? My words going in the last quarter is, girls, give it everything. You've got nothing to lose. Leave nothing in the tank. If I have to come out there and pick you up after the game, I will. Work when we do get inside our 50. Work like mongrel dogs and keep it in there and get a result. Yeah, I think that's exactly right. I wouldn't worry too much on statistics or, you know, inside physics or anything like that. I'd just be saying get that ball forward and, yep. like, just work as hard as you can. It's 15 I mean. more, more minutes of football for the year, yep. regardless. So... Um, you know, we'll see what happens at the end of it. Uh, who are you tipping for the last quarter, Dancy? Oh, look, I'm going to have to stick with my Magpies girls being coach of the Magpies men, but I think it can go either way. It's been a great contest. I thought, looking at the start, the Bakers were going to look quite uh, superior. It's really good that Magpies have been able to weather the storm and come out and go with them. Yeah, it was, so, it'll be interesting to see yeah. who's got the last bit of breath, but we'll come back. Um, final, uh, sorry, three-quarter time scores, 22 to Baker's Creek, 20 to Magpies. All right, here we go. The big final quarter of the Mackay Women's AFL Grand Final. Who will it be? Will it be the Mighty Magpies going for five in a row? Will it be the new kids on the block, the Bakers Creek Tigers, to take out their first premiership? All in readiness. 
The crowd's right into it. Every game today has been close. Fantastic day here at Harrow Park. Can't wait to see what, who wins this one, Jen. I know you're eating a mandarin there. I'll cover for you. It's all good. Definitely Up we go. Time. Emma Rostrum. They changed something out. They took, put her back in the ruck. I thought they were doing better with... I thought they should have left Jay Willis in there. But anyway, time will tell. Moved it to the back. There she is. Imogen again. Zali Ronald. Cassie Forthwick caught in a great tackle by Beck Morati. That's about her fourth tackle today. She has been sensational down there for them. Yeah, that's exactly what you want to see from your back line. Is that they're tackling hard. Oh. Imogen's set up perfect here for the mark. Oh. Good contested, uh, contested possession there. And they're going to see that one just go over the line for a throw in. It's a good result for the Bakers Creek Tigers. Coming to the last quarter straight into their fourth line. So, yeah. Coach Jason Holmes changed a few things up there. He took Jay Willis. He's got a damn back there still, but yeah. I think you've got to play a very attacking game of football here, and he's he kind of... Hannah Hillman, all that's gone off the side of the boot, hopefully for... Then it goes there, it goes right here in front of us. Mary McDonald coming over for the ruck with Emma Rom. They've got Emmy out here, just yeah. on the Emma. right, hand, uh, left hand side. Yeah. If this comes out, she's going to go for a run, I reckon. Here we go, Donna's steamed through. Bust through, Donna, good work by the captain. So they've actually pushed her up forward now. Yep. Oh, great kick off the ground. Smart thinking there by Imogen. Turns around. Oh, tackle there. Oh, umpire says trip. I think that's pretty unlucky. I think she tripped yeah. over herself there. But Macy's going to get a shot at goal. Do you think she's got the distance? She looks a bit sore from that one. Yeah, she does. I think she has got the distance in her. If her uh, yeah, sister taught this. her anything, maybe. If she can kick this, it'll help Bakers Creek. It's, it's gone a good high. looking kick, I tell you what. Oh, just fall short. Bunch of players in there, I can't see. I don't think it's going to be... No, they're no, going to take that through. over. So the back line really have to knock that one over, Rush don't they? Rush through, yep. So, a few right. wedding takers coming past us here, Jen, all getting ready. Day at a wedding and watching the footy. How good's that? Up the <laughs> He's got the wrong code there, unfortunately. But anyway, we'll forgive him. And that's a mark to Brooke Rowlands. She's, she's going to play on, on yeah. Geordie's in, Geordie's a bit in a bit of pain. Trouble, so she's she's going to take the game on down here out of the wing. I'll just keep watching Geordie yeah, if you want to oh, call the game. Great shepherd by the Emma Ronstrom. She looks long. Chance for Wallace Randall to mark. Oh, good contact test. Well done by Lauren there. Oh, that's just spat out the back. Big contest here. She's met it well, the captain. Emma Ronstrom. Oh, and she's got it. And she just flicked it off the ground. Megan Allard comes forward. There's Lisa Stipovic. She's inverted. Gets it to Jay Willis. She kicks it long forward, but it's all Bakers back here. Sasha dropped what she should have taken. Good tackle. Lauren, she's had a solid game for Bakers Creek as well. Emma Ronstrom again. Chased by the Bakers Creek captain. Finds Manny McDonald, unfortunately. So She'll this go is long. Did no, you just doesn't. been watching she's it. Long. Uh, so Jordan's actually been taken off the ground at the moment. So she's actually really sore in that yep. contest against... Um, here's who we think could get the player... Win the player's player if they win. Oh, Zali Ronald probably should have marked that. She's gone in long. And oh, Megan. Megan Allard. No, says the umpire. Oh, that's, that's rough, isn't it? Yes, I thought. There's a few really sore oh, bodies out there. Good bump there. Lisa Stippelwick's going for it. Yes, that's definitely in the back, that one. And that might be... That's Megan, going to... No, ma no it's going that's to Kelly. Megan... Kelly. Kelly Hedegitty. She's definitely got the distance in her. Look, she's, she's experienced. She knows, obviously, how to slot goals. It'd just be about, obviously, uh, going back, just relaxing, not thinking that this could be the winning goal. I'm going to back her and, in. Um, yeah, kick it long. So she comes in for the run-up. It's high. It's long. It's, it's got home. the distance. It's home the for the Bakers Creek Tigers. I think Kate, Jason Holmes needs to get... Jay Willis back in the middle. She was really instrumental there in the second quarter of getting him forward. I think she needs to go back in there. It was right? really and as uh, I speak about it, there she goes. Yeah, Maybe so he's listening to me on live stream. <laughs> it's very <laughs> defensive minded to put someone down back. You've got to be kicking goals to obviously it, win the you game. You've got to attack so. to win the game of footy. You can't yeah. defend. You must kick a score. But yeah, good goal from Kelly. Um, we knew she had the distance. It was just yep. whether she could put it through the right stick. So um, you know, she'll remember that one for a very long time. 
uh, playing. Could be the match winner. Well, she's played 50 games for Baker's Creek, so she's been there from the start. Manny McDonald wins that center clearance. Here she is again, Imogen. Hannah Hellman meets her. Good tackle. Oh, great work by the Baker's Curls in there and tight. They're just fierce competitors, the Baker's Curls. Oh, so that's got to be in the back. Yes, umpire Robin Miles says thank you. So this is where Magpies, they have to run now. Yes. What, Jake? Jane yep. Willis out there? Yep. You've got to look. You've got to look to the other side. No, she's just going to go straight yeah. down the line. Lily Tarleton has worked hard here from up at St. R. Ford. She's got it. That's it. That's a good kick. Aaron Saltmarsh is just watching it. Oh, that's only a push in the back, is it? Here we go. Big play here. Oh, oh. Sky Davy with a hit of the day, if you don't mind. Right. She will be tasting <laughs> turf for the next two weeks at Paul Oh, Gale. the crowd like that one, Jen. And she's just going to continue playing here. We've got Deshanti here on the far side. And the ball's going to go over while she recovers from that hey, hit. That is a rugby league player would be proud of that. That was a great hit by Sky Just Davey. ran into a wall and was not getting out of that yep. one. Did you see oh, she stole that. Wallace Randall got her hands out. Quick hands. And we've got Emmy here. Can, just gets a kick. Jay Wallace again. As we said... Oh, great tackle, oh, Kelly Haggerty. No, that's going to be Megan yeah. Allard, that one. Sorry. Megan so, Allard. Megan's really coming to the game now, and yep. we just see the... A couple of big plays from Bakers when they've needed them. Sky diving, meeting So, this is tackle. a massive one. So, Jay Willis is actually still on the ground, hasn't got up. Megan's called over to the um, to the trainers, and we know what kind of sportsmanship women's have, and they yep. all look out for each other. So, when Geordie got hurt, Jay helped her, so... It's really good to see. She's in a bit of pain here, she though, down in. We obviously know what kind of yep. role she's played for. Uh, yeah. And this is a force main for us to have to make a few changes. Well, unfortunately, there's not a lot of time on the, on the clock, and they really have to get her off if they're going to. Question, does the clock stop here in the women's game? No, they don't. Not even in the grand final? No. So they really have to mm. obviously make sure she's okay. Definitely, definitely. Um, but you've got to get she's her a off. Tough, she's a tough Omri J. Willis. I'm telling you now. She would not be down if she wasn't hurt. That's exactly right. She's, she's going to suck these the big ones, ones in. I think they needed to stay out there. She's sucking them in. Unfortunately, Lisa Stibblevich is giving her the ball, but it's not her kick. No, it's uh, Megan Allard. Megan Allard's for a great tackle. She's just going to try and walk it off. She's Hopefully a she can. As I said, she's a top ombre. So Megan's going to look in through the middle. She Who's spotted... Is oh, that Macy? Marker. Um, so, Ronald, she's going to then go down the line towards her sister, Zali. Great hand. Oh, no, sorry. That's Kelly. Kelly. Again. She's going to go back. She's, she's added back a, f a few metres across and umpires brought her yeah, back. Yeah, brought her back in. Do you think she's got the distance from I here? I don't think she's got the distance from here. I think here. she's going to have to hook gonna around. Going to fall short. Going to have to hook around like Need a buddy, in front. buddy kick here. She's hooked around. That's no, it. Not the distance, but perfect spot for someone. Clash of players. It's knocked out. Jay Willis says she is. What a soldier. Hey, and she gets a push on them. What a soldier. She's got down there. She's over here, engine. She's pushed back to help her girls out. That's the type of thing that wins your matches. Do you think there's enough time here for the main No, I need two goals. I need to get it down there quickly and get a result. It's right. just no one here. Here she is again, all by herself. I'm giving her the medal if they win. Oh, Jay oh, Willis, but well, that's the second it. best on ground, I think, Jen. Just mark that there. So she's just going to take it on, and this is what they need to do. Unfortunately, the bounce hasn't come up. She's got her hands free. Oh. It's a quick kick forward. For the ball. Oh. Oh. And Cassie Forsythe has probably kicked the goal. That just will win the deal. Baker's Creek Tigers their first grand final. Unfortunately for Jay Willis there. Probably took the game on. She knew they had to. Unfortunate. The bounce didn't go her way. It went but back the other way. Kessie Forsov, perfect spot. It was actually really good, um, really smart to get that handball through. Yep. Um, perfect spot, understood what was going to happen. And again, she's only young, only coming. 15, up and coming star. Yeah, so she's played a few games for the Pioneer Power yep. and then uh, plays for the women's Bakers team as well. So yeah. congratulations, Kessie, great person. And what a fantastic way to uh, finish yeah. the game. And that makes it them. really hard for the Magpies now with the score being 5-5, five, five, 35 to three goals, two. 20, three goals in a 15 minute quarter is pretty hard. Yeah, and we've probably eaten up about 10 minutes of this quarter, so yep. it's going to be very hard. If you're going to back anyone in, it's going to be uh, Magpies. Yeah, they need to win this centre clearance. Yeah, it's very, very important. Yep. 
So you need someone like Brooke to win this one. Take yep. it on. Just get it down deep. Madison McDonald, she's been good the last quarter in that ruck. I don't think she's lost a tap out. There she is again, Imogen Wallace Randall. She's gone a bit quieter. Oh, good tackle there. Emma Rostrum gets it on the foot, gets it forward. And Maddie's going to kick it into the Madison forward. Madison McDonald, she might be up there, I'll tell you what, as well. So it's going to be a bit of a foot race here. Hannah Hillman and, and Megan, Megan Allard. Allard, really good contest. Kessie Forsyth is too, working in there. Megan Allard got just back in there. Let's ball it up. So Imi's yeah. going to be in perfect position here as well. So we'll see what happens there. That's it, Madison McDonald. She's been a pair of strength. So they've set up that good. wall perfectly. Drew the opponent. <laughs> Somehow got the, yeah. ball, the foot to the ball. Two meteorites going at it there. You really get the Brooke sense Allen's that... another great tackle by Imogen. Everyone is putting in everything yeah. here. As we said, we said there's nothing in the tank, and that's what they're doing. Wallace Randall gets it forward. It's all Bakers, three on one. Comes out the back, Ebony Ricks evades him nicely on to Sky Davies. He put that big hit on about five minutes ago. Breaking right foot, goes to Sarah. She needs to get it on the boot. She does, Lily Tarlington, Brooke Rowland, sorry. Oh, good, another so good mark. that's a third contested mark that yeah. Brooke's had in this game. And Main post don't seem to have anyone forward to kick to at the moment. It's all Bakers, they're getting back in numbers. They're working well. Brooke's just got to kick it forward. It's gone over the head. And there's Sky Davey mopping up again. She's kicked it. Oh, this could be dangerous. Emma Romstrom. Oh, good tackle there, boy. I can't quite see. I think that's like Geordie, is it? No, I think that's... Uh, yeah, it's yeah, Geordie. Geordie. Yep. So the Magpies really have to get one in this right contest now. to uh, be a chance here. Wallace Randall. Oh, good point to him. Good tackling. Little toe poke there. Megan Allard. Great tackle. She's been strong in this last quarter. Another good tackle there by Lily Tarlington. She's playing on, says the umpire. Just knocking it forward. Jay Willis again. She's done well. Big mark here. Oh, well done there. And that's Lauren. Lauren again. She's been fantastic for him across half back. So Sarah's just taking an intercept mark there. So she's really going to have to push forward quickly here. And the kick really did not oh, do any justice. Oh, favoured Hawks. Jordy Tappan gets it. Just gets it on the boot. That's what you need to do. Alison Jackson's gone in the middle now for him. Emma Romstrom get a kick. No, tackle. It's a That's great been a tackle. feature of Baker's game. They're tackling. So we said if if Make Boys can get pace and if they can get run and carry, they'll win. Yeah. But obviously then we also said if um, you know if it's a contested yeah. game, Bakers yeah. were going to take it. And that's what it's really been yeah. today. So it was Megan Allard. She stepped up in this last quarter, as you said. A bit quiet for the first three, but when the game's on the line, she's come on. Lily Tarlington kicked into the mark. Goes back, retrieves her own kick. Probably needs to take him on here. She did. Erin Sotmarsh, great chain of hand there by the Make Boys girls. Over to Kath Tarlington. Here it comes Scott Davies. Oh, there's head high. That's really dangerous, isn't it? You it can is. see someone's going to pick up the football. You've got to then get down low. Yep. Um, Kath's not tiny, so it should have been yep. easy to then get down low. You've got to look after the person that you're tackling. There's a chance of Mark. Oh, looks like she's done in the leg, a knee or something there. Oh, another great tackle, as we said. Oh, they've just got to get Feature on the boot the here. Game. There it is. And it's out. And they've got the break. Here we go. Here she is again. That girl Imogen. Wallace Randall. Jay Wallace. Another fantastic game. Wallace Randall. She'll take him on. Oh, she's got to get rid of it here quickly. Oh, and she's too run far. too far. Ah, yep. Yeah. Probably a fair call there. I don't, yeah. She didn't really have much presenting in front of her, unfortunately. But, um, yeah, Baker's in. And this is Megan Allard. So they've actually pushed her up. Yeah. Um, further in the field, so... She's cramping. Imogen running past here saying she's cramping. I can understand why. <laughs> yeah, she's... She's uh, probably got a little bit of leather poisoning too, just quietly. So Jordy hurt her leg earlier, so they yeah. put her down back for a little yeah. relief. Yeah, a few players going down she's here. Erin well. Saltmarsh, while the player's gone straight past the player that's down. I think it's just a There's bit of There's Lauren again. I'll tell you what, she's had a mighty game back there for them. Here's Imogen again as well. Oh, she's cramped she's up. She cramped. just said she's cramping. She's cramped. Here goes Jay Willis. So essentially, uh, oh. Bakers are doing this with minus two at the moment, and yeah. they're still managing to get it out. So yeah. really good stuff from them. Magpies really have to capitalise on this. I don't know if they've got enough time. I don't think so. But they've got to uh, keep Definitely something. Not. I think time will beat them. Ooh, a bit of a falcon. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. 
seeing stars a bit. Oh, good tackle there, Ebony Ritz on Wallace Randall. I'll tell you what, if one team knows how to celebrate, it's the women's uh, Baker's Creek yeah. Tigers. So when Definitely the siren goes... On, I'm going to say the tackling was wrong this game today. They've been phenomenal with some of their tackling. Yeah, so definitely not long now. Yep. Um, and then uh, it's very reminiscent. There it is. The 2018 AFL Mackay Premiers are the Vegas Creek Tigers. The first one. Yeah, joined the competition in the second yep. year and uh, have just been battling on, battling yep. on. Uh, retained quite a few plays every year and uh, have continued just to work together yep. to, I guess, a grand final appearance to then winning a grand final. Congratulations yeah, yeah. to the Bakers Creek Tigers. Yeah. And a great stuff by KG and Rich. He's looked after these girls for the last two or three years. Really gelled them together and uh, yeah, fantastic win. Great day for Bakers Creek overall. Two teams in finals, two wins, under 17s and women's. Yeah, they're obviously doing something uh, right there and you know, it'll be really interesting to see how they go in the next year and with yeah. the competition growing like it is, yeah. hopefully with another team and you know, we obviously knew this was going to be hard for the Magpies, um, having an inconsistent team throughout the year and having so many new appearances. So congratulations to Magpies for getting it this far. Yep. But overall, Baker's Creek, is it 5-6, uh, 35 to Magpies, 3-2-20. Yeah, and Baker's Creek were probably the best side for most of the year, you know. They were on top of the ladder for a long time, then they had a few injuries, slipped back down, but still managed to finish in second spot. Got straight through to the grand final. They've worked hard. They're a really close unit, and it's just a really good morale booster for the club to get two teams in the grand final and uh, get a win. Yeah, it's really good to obviously see some of the younger girls come through as well uh, from Piney Power. Um, and I know... Our um, Lauren Bell is going to be very happy. She'll be very happy. Shanae Murphy, she's come up from Townsville. She's an ex Tigeress as well. She'll be enjoying this moment. Uh, they probably both wish they were out there celebrating, but uh, it's going to be a big night of celebrations for those girls. And I, I think there'd almost be relief for the Magpies, obviously having, uh, you know, this fifth appearance for a grand final. And, you know, they, it means they get to reset next year and they won't have that kind of pressure on their back coming into 2019. Yeah, and Coach Jason Holmes done an absolutely fantastic job with the Magpies girls. Like we said, three weeks to go uh, towards the final round, they were sitting on the bottom of the ladder. He's able to get them together. He's had to show them how to find, how to win without all the, the rugby league girls that have had them out. And they fought on well and they've learned how to play together themselves. Yeah, they'll all be disappointed, but uh, the Magpies girls, they can hold their heads high. They've had a fantastic season. It's a new group and uh, they've done well, but all accolades must go to Baker's Creek. They've got the chocolates today, Jen. They'll go home. They'll open up I the I don't packet. know if they'll be going well, home, to be honest. <laughs> they but... probably won't be going home. They'll probably be heading over this direction here yes. towards the bar to celebrate with a nice couple of froffies. <laughs> but it's, uh, yeah, definitely congratulations, especially, as you said, to Ian Ricks. He's coached him in the last couple of years. Just grounded them a bit, I feel. Yeah. And then, um, you know, it's really... As you said, really deserving. They've been consistent throughout the year. and uh, Man of the match, that'll be interesting. My tip, Imogen. Yeah, I'm with you with Imogen. Really, I've got yep. a funny feeling that the umpies might give it a big Matty McDonald. I don't know why. Just a I think, I think this, the four that they're going to look at, oh, I think the four they're going to look at, Imogen. Uh, but as I said, we get to see where she sets up. Yeah. Uh, whereas they don't. Yep. You've got obviously Matty McDonald, who have play, who's played an outstanding yep. game in various roles as well. Yeah, Jay, Jay Willis. Willis you can't go past her. Um, and then you got Megan Allard in that last quarter. Did she turn it on when she had to? So. But I thought Lauren, the halfback flank. Yeah, Lauren. Hyphenated name. Whereas we said we're not going to pronounce it. I know yeah. she goes out with <laughs> yeah. Jason rapping it. But uh, yeah, she had a fantastic game down back there, mopping up a lot of. A lot of the ball there, so yeah, look, it's really good to see the Magpies girls, you know, they've got there in a huddle and they're all probably saying, look, you know, wasn't our year, but it's great to see they're all sticking together and uh, I'll go and have a quiet cold here with them tonight, Jen. <laughs> yeah, well, it's the only team for you, obviously, to get uh, a grand final appearance, same with the Hawks and uh, the Reserves, which are obviously on next. Yep. But um, yeah, congratulations to Bakers and, um, you know, I know that Magpies are very competitive and they're going to want to come back to the same stage next year. Yeah, and that's how they do, you know. All in all, Jen, the, the women's competition this year has been fantastic. There's been a lot of close games. The season went right down the wire, even to see it was getting in the, into the fall. So, all in all, I think the uh, women's competition this year has been a huge success. Uh, I think there's been some great games and uh, culminating in a great grand final. 
Yeah, that's correct. And I think uh, Elise Marchetti kind of um, really spoke about the importance of clubs and, you know, not just team, the women's teams getting behind each other, but the full clubs getting behind each other. We, we know that um, Swans are trying to nominate for a team next year, so it's really about everyone just collaborating together and, and hopefully we can come through with a, um, you know, another team next year, even with... Um, Bulldogs are trying to nominate a team as well, so it's it's not about teams getting behind each other, it's about the clubs, uh, women's teams, they really bring a lot of character, um, you know, more to the committee, they bring um, more helpers and then more revenue for clubs as well. Yeah, definitely, fantastic season the women, as we said, the 2018 AFL Mackay's Women's Champions for 2018 are the Bakers Creek Tigers. Jen, we'd just like to thank you for all your special comments. Great to interview Lauren Bella along with you. That was fantastic, and uh, all the best for you. I know you got a bit of a got to go and have a bit of a surgery on the knee there. I hope to see you back bigger, better, stronger next year, and uh, look forward to going with you next week with the Young Tackers. Yeah, thanks very much, Dan. It's been another good year of football. Unfortunately, as you said, like um, I got injured at the end of the year and have to go for a little bit of surgery. Not too bad, which is fortunate, but. Yeah, the idea is to get back next year and continue playing my role for the Hawks, um, wherever that might be on the field. Hopefully just the forward line again. All right, thanks very much for that. We might have a short break, then we'll be back for the reserve grade grand final between Eastern Swans and Mackay City Hawks. our official presentation party for this, uh, this afternoon's match. We have Jane McGough, uh, General Manager of the Human Community for the Gold Coast Suns, and also Lauren Bella from the Gold Coast Suns Academy. Please welcome them. I would like to invite Lauren Bella to the stage to present the umpires uh, medals for the, the umpires this afternoon. Field umpires. Robin Miles and Darren Brewster. We 
Seven, Ebony 
Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back. This is just about to commence. Is the reserve grade grand final between the mighty Mackay City Hawks up against the Eastern Swans? And in the semi final, what a great game that was! Went down after the final siren. Swans kicking the ball after the final siren to win the semi final by one point. Hawks looking for a little bit of redemption. They're back here. Going to be a fantastic game. Some mouth watering matchups. Uh, down at centre forward, uh, Kane Evans for the Swans against Jason Allard from Mackay City Hawks. Also, uh, will Mark Nicholson go to Ivan Walker? Pretty fast Ivan Walker. Been around for a long time, a seasoned campaigner. Played a lot of footy. Uh, that'll be interesting to see if Mark Nico goes to him or just plays that free-flowing role off the half-back flank. In the midfield, will Jardine Babonga go to the very elusive Barry Badcock, who seems to be able to just get out the back religiously and find the football and set his team up. Will the MJ Miller medal, Brad Best, will he have a big impact on the game? I'm sure he will. Look for his run and carry in this game. It is going to be a mouth-watering contest. Both sides heading out now. Uh, umpire's in the middle of the ground, ready to go. Uh, Neil Cyprian rocking for the Mackay City Hawks. Uh, in the midfield, Barry Badcock, also Jeff Skinner. babongi has gone in there. Is he going to Barry Babcock? It looks like it. Brad Best, who's going to stop him? Swans are really strong up for. They've got Ivan Walker there. Grant Evans, also Troy Stevens. He'll be pretty influential. Mark Nicholson's gone to. He's just loose. Someone's playing a bit of ducks and drags here. Damon Skinner starting down back. Normally starts in the midfield for the Hawks. Hawks kicking to the left of screen. Here we go. 2018 AFL McCoy Reserve Grand Final. And the umpire balls it up. That's a win for Neil Cyprian. Quick tap on. On to Barry Babcock. As I said, he'll be very intro. Gets the ball forward. Looking for Bo Reed. He drops the ball. Pushing the back, says the umpire. Bo Reed will go back. From about 35 to 40 out, can he put the first score on the board for the Mackay City Hawks? Mark Nicholson made some great room there. Could have probably given it to him. But Bo Reed says, no, Mark, I'm going to go back and kick this myself. I'm flying solo for this one too, listeners out there. I think that's going to fall short. Can someone take a mark? Knocked off the pack. Handball out there. Can't quite see who's got it there for the Swans. Jardine Mabonga gets the ball, goes long. It's gone straight to Jeff Skinner sitting out there in the wing. He's looking inboard, can't find someone. Guess there, there's the lead put on. That's taken by 41 for Mackay City Hawks. Oh, kicking in danger, says the ump. And Brad Bass will go back and have a shot on quite an acute angle. Probably 15 to 20 out. Very good kick for goal. Brad Bass, as I said, took out the best and fairest for the reserve grade. At the awards night the other night. He had 13 best on grounds and kicked 25 goals for Mackay City Hawks. Lines up. Can he get the first score of the grand final? Looks good. The boys are clapping behind the goals. But no, it's gone through for a point. Jared Van Hees, he'll kick out for the Swans. Used to play forward for him, uh, Jared Van East, but they've used him in a back row position. Really good kick of the footy. As I say that, he kicks it along the ground. They get it out, it goes to Jardine Babongi onto the left foot. Out to the Swans, tapped on there. Oh, met well. Bit hard for me to see from that far away. That looks like young Lambert coming back. He's kicked it straight back to Van Hees. He's taken a mark. He looks up the middle of the ground, looks long. Mark Nicholson comes in from the Hawks, meets it. Really good player, Mark Nicholson. Looking to get plenty of the football today. Will run all day. 
He'll go back out from in the center of the ground. Jardine Babongi stands on the mark. Barry Babong. Barry Babcock standing out there by himself. Bo Reed leads at it. Then he mops up again. Short pass into there, into Simon Kegel. Good footy player out here. It comes to Kane Evans. Kane Evans, I don't know about this matchup. Good contest. He's going hard at it. Works hard. Works really hard for the ball there. Locks it in. Good work by Kane Evans. Comes up from Ivan Walker. He gets it out. Quick hand pass there. Simon Kegel. He looks across. Looks for young Dean Tass there. Going out in the far forward pocket. Wheels around. Kicks a short pass back into Troy Stevens. Can he get the first goal of the grand final? No, he can't. It's a behind. And we'll be locked up at one apiece. Damon Skinner coming down to take the kick out for the Hawks. Mick Schuyler making a long searching leg out the middle of the ground. Damon Skinner looks for his brother Trevor. Jared Van Hees comes in. Jeff Skinner gets a short little hand pass over to Gordon Karke. Mick Schuyler, he's broken free here. Looks up. Goes through the centre of the ground. Ran a long way. Searches forward. Back into Bo Reed. He comes out to meet it. Bit of pace there. Swans are he's, he's missed it. 32 for Swans there. He'll take the kick. That's Matthew Anderson. He kicks it out here to Jared Van Hees. He's been prominent early. Looks down. Short little chip over. He'll go there. He goes there to Taylor Everson. He looks for a kick down the ground. He, it's found there by number 59, Dirk Termurmason. 17 for the Hawks there. On the left foot. That's Michael Norley. Ball comes out here. Cyprian gets the ball. Big fend off there. Looks for a hand in board, doesn't get it. Ivan Walker mops up, he's out. Good shepherd there by Van Herverson. Looks forward. Young Simon Kegel, good mark. He could be the difference today. Kane Evans. Looks in short, good lead there. And he's found, I think it's Simon Kegel. Out on the Harrow Park side of the ground, deep in the forward pocket. Simon Kegel on a cute angle. Very good player, played Cookaburras as a junior. Runs in. Doesn't look too bad off the boot. And it's through for a goal. Simon Kegel gets the first goal of the 2018 Reserves Grand Final. And Swans off to an early lead. One goal, one seven to one behind to the Hawks. Swans probably need to start positive. Uh, Hawks have been strong all year, only lost the one game. It's been a change in the ruck here. 58, Matthew Todd comes out into the centre clearance. He's really working on Babcock here. He's still seen, oh, and he's been taught, caught late there. Simple, silly penalty, no need for it. Barry Babcock, he'll be prominent, gets the ball. Looks forward, looks deep forward. There he is again, Van Hees. As I said, prominent early. Goes out the far side, finds Ivan Walker. He's managed to run out there on the far side of the ground. Chip over to Tass, who's made a searching lead forward. Good mark. Getting some close attention from Mark Nicholson. Tass takes his time, looking for options. No one seems to be presenting, so he goes along. Over the back. Troy Stevens takes it. He won't waste the foot. He rarely does. He's gone over the back. Kane Evans again. Good contest there. He's come back. He'll pick up, mop up what he should have taken. Then he'll can he go back? Kick a goal. Oh, he's missed it. Probably should have kicked that. But Swans look up and about early. One goal, two. Mark Nicholson has the kick in. Simon Kegel has a look. There he is, he's kicked his second one. Simon Kegel. Two goals, one. 14 to one behind. 
And it's the Swans with all the early running. Probably kicking to the scoring in the Swans. It uh, seems to be the way today. So Hawks need to try and uh, get a goal back here. Oh, there's a, a, a centre square infringement. It's against the Swans. And Neil Cyprian will take the kick from out of the middle. He says, I'm going to go long. Has a look. He's kicked it to nine. And that's about Jared Van He's full intercept mark in five minutes. He looks out wide on the far side to the wing. Ball goes up there. Oh, great work there. And is that Barry Babcock? He's got it. Goes back. He needs to go back. Get it in nice and quick. Slowing down, waiting for movement. There goes Brad Betch on a searching lead. He's gone in that direction. Good spoil over the back there by the Swannies. Contested footy. Here they come. It's all the Swans at the moment. They've started well. What's pulled up? The umpires pull that up for a throw. Jacob Lambert will take the kick for the Hawks. Looks in board. Goes on a search and lead. That man again, Jared Van Hees. Five marks, I believe. Doesn't waste the footy very much. Goes out to the left there. Oh, good mark there by Joel Quarrell. Needed to take it. Lovely looking mullet he's got there. Nice little chip over. Just playing the composed footy. They're off. The Swans down the outside. There's another mark. Can't quite see who that is. On the far wing. Gets it in nice and long. Troy Stevens there, well met by Mark Nicholson. Will probably muck up his own work. And the ball goes out on the far side wing. Scores at the moment 2 2, 14 to the Swans. Hawks are solitary behind. Bit of ruck right there. Neil Cyprian taps it forward. Barry Babcock looking for it. Damon Skinner in and under. Plenty of footy. Who's that come out to? Jacob Lambert. Oh, that's without the ball. Yes, the umpire says. Jacob Lambert will go back and have a kick. No, sorry, that's Damon Skinner. He looks out. Short pass. Out to Mick Scola. He goes now to Lambert. He takes a mark out there. He looks in board. Goes for a short one. No good. Who is it? Once again, Jared Van Hees. Mopping up everything back there for the Swans. Here comes Barry Babcock. He's got the ball. Sends it back into the middle of the ground. Unkindly bounce. Brad Best. Little short hands over. 28. That's a goal to the Hawks. Need to that quick reply. Oh, it's hit the post. Caleb Hussey probably should have kicked that. Van Hees gets the ball moving quickly. Out there. Searching lead. Deep in the back pocket. Can't quite see the number. He looks up. Another searching lead. Ivan Walker over there working hard. Comes out the other side. Trying to keep his feet. Oh, quick hands out there. There he is, Barry Babcock. They need to man him up. He can be dangerous. Sets the Hawks up. Ben Anderson seems to be doing the ruck work there for the Hawks at the moment. Knock it forward. Ball here, here's Kane Evans, can play Kane Evans, great mark, wheels and goes on his right foot, looks deep down, Simon Kegel, he's been good early, kicked their first two goals, he's being pursued now, and that'll be a good result for the Swans, out of bounds, just inside the forward 50. Boundary umpire throws it in. Neil Cyprian wins the contest. There it goes. Oh, just Simon Kegel looking over the back. Didn't quite get it. That could be in the back. No. Quick hands. Oh, Draper says play on. There's a bit of delayed reaction there. And they've gone and kicked the goal. That was big Matthew Todd. And it's uh, all the early going. Eastern Swan. Three goals, 220 to the Hawks. Two behinds. Bit of a delayed reaction there by the umpire, but anyway, he said play on, and uh, Matthew Todd did what he had to, went in and kicked the goal. 
Be interesting to see how Hawks uh, answer back here. Swans all the early running. Probably what not a lot of punters predicted. But on paper, when I looked at them, I thought they had a good side. So it's Matty Todd up against Cyprian in the middle. And he wins it. Barry Crockett trying to come out the other side. Him and Troy Stevens fighting for it. Troy Stevens wins it. Gets it onto his right foot. Looking out there for Jardine Babonga. Jason Allard meets the ball well. Babonga's after him. Allard gets the ball, looks forward. That's young Adams there. He's taking a mark. He's looked in nice and quick. Probably not the best kick. Oh, he's dropped it. Darren Paddlewood, that is. Darren Paddlewood, and that goes over the boundary line. Hawks need to get a result here. They need a, need a result. Boundary umpire working his way around. The ball's here deep on the wing. That's a quick hand pass out there. Here comes Jason Allard. Oh, well met by Barbongi. Gets a quick hands out. Hot contested footy. Oh, great tackle there. Can't quite see who that is. That's uh, Dean Tass. At rugby league background, him and Jardine Mabonga both played for the Cutters. He look, kicks the ball forward. Searching forward, Simon Kegel. Kenny gets it. Yes, great work there by him. Oh, jumped on by Damon Skinner. Good contested footy here. The umpire says, I'll oh, ball it up. Ian Draper says, yep, I'll have that. Thank you. A little bit of argy-bargy going on here. Yep, what's the umpire going to do here? He says, let's go down here. We'll give a 50-metre penalty. Uh, discipline. Discipline wins footy matches. And that's going to cost Hawks another goal. And the recipient is Simon Kegel, about to go in. And probably kick his third goal. Coach David Johnson won't be happy with that. Some little discipline by the Hawks there. There it is. Simon Kickle kicks his third goal. It's all Swans. 4 2, 26 to 2 behind. And the Hawks are a bit shell shocked at the moment. Jared Van Hees doing everything down back, mopping up. Plenty of intercept marks. Swans just chipping the ball away, around, not rushing. Making the most of their opportunities, kicking the goals when they need to. And they've ran out to an early lead. But we all know, Mackay City Hawks, good team, won a lot of re, uh, grand finals in the reserves. Hopefully they can bounce back and uh, make a game of it. We're waiting for the ball to come back. No time on either, I don't think, in the resi. Won't worry the Swans. I'll probably say and take as long as you like. Here it comes. Hawks definitely have to kick the next goal. I can't let uh, Swans go down there again and get a five-goal lead. They'll be playing catch-up for the rest of the day. Here we go, back in the middle. And there it is. There's a sign. So, first quarter. Swans, four goals, two, 26 to Bakers Creek, two solitary behinds. Well, Coach David Johnson, uh, uh, he'll be there working hard to see what's going wrong there. And hopefully he can change a few things up. So all the early run on the Swans, they'll be pretty happy about that, but they need to continue on with it. 
Bakers Creek won't lie down, I can guarantee you that. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Bakers Creek women were victorious in the women's grand final. And for all those listeners out there in the under 17s, it was the Bakers Creek Tigers got up in a nail biter there as well. So that's two flags to the, the Bakers Creek Tigers, the under 17s and the women's. In the under-14s, it was the boys from out the kennel, uh, from Moorumbah. They had to um, travel all the way in. They got the, got the result. Sorry, I'll take that back. It was the North Mackay Saints with a kick after the siren to win the 14s. And it was the Moorumbah Bulldogs in the under-12s that got up. So a few different winners today. Uh, Bulldogs in the 12s. Uh, Saints in the 14s. Two Tigers teams in the 17s and women's. And, uh, yeah, now it's uh, the Eastern Swans and Mackay City Hawks going head-to-head -head in the reserve grade. Uh, plenty of people at the huddle from the Swans. As we know, their uh, senior men's will play in the grand final coming up next. Uh, kicking off at 6.30 in the men's grand final. What a game that'll be against with Sunday. Uh, it will probably start favourites, but, as you know, funny things can happen in footy. For that game, I'll be joined in the commentary by the Sunday president of Cabe Aiton. So looking forward to having Cabe's input, uh, finding out how, they, uh, how, they, how they're how they thinking and how the training went this week. They're probably on a bus on their way here now, but yeah, looking forward to having a chat with Cabe. Should be a great day. A great evening, I should say. Hawks definitely need to get the first goal of this second quarter. I uh, can't afford to let Swans go down and kick it. Uh, trailing by four goals at the moment. All right, here we go. Second quarter, as I said, Hawks need to get on the board nice and early here. Probably kicking to the favourable end, but we'll see how they, where they're situated at half time. Simon Kegel back in the middle, as I said, really important early. Kick three goals, got the Swans up and about. Darwin Badong, he's pushed forward, and Dean Tass has gone into the middle. Umpire says, let's go, let's get the second quarter on the way. Neil Cyprian wins that centre tap. Looks for Barry Babcock, doesn't quite find him. Mops up his own work. Goes out, looks for Barry Best. Dean Tass comes in. Best gets it. Over to Jeff Skinner. He's cleared out. Need a result here, need a mark and a goal. Overflies it, there's Mick Scala. Trying to mop up. Quick handball out. And there it is. First goal, they needed it. Caleb Hussey for the Hawks. Mops up, little in and under. Really needed that, the Hawks. Yep, there you go, Nick. So that's, a, that's the reply they need it. Might give them a bit of momentum. They needed it. Everything was against them that first quarter. Can they get another centre clearance? Go back up there again. Go, 
Another good Barry Babcock's got it. So they've started off well this second quarter. Need to get it in here. Lock in and get a result. Plenty of chases. Swans have handballed it out. There we go. On his left foot. Wheels around. Has it got the legs? No. Just missed to the far side. And that was Matty Lambert there. Father of Jacob Lambert. So father and son playing in this game. Great to see. Matthew Lambert and Jacob Lambert. Matthew Lambert with the behind. Swans, here we go. They've kicked it out on the far side. I think that might be Dan Kelly there. He's having a look around. Looks down the ground, says, no, nope, I'm going to go long. Looking for Dean Tass. He's found it. He goes down the far side. Looks for Jardine Bavongi, his partner in crime. Damon Skinner's going to mop up. Goes onto the left foot. Kicks it straight into Bavongi. Good contest here. Oh, there's a little bit of argy-bargy here going on. That's it. Damon Skinner is one of those players that tries to get under your skin. Jardim Mavon goes, let, let's go play footy. Oh, Barry Bodcock makes that ball well. Gets it out. Can't quite see who that is out there on the far side. Being chased. Popped up by the Swans. Great tackle there. It's a turnover. Kicked across the middle, but straight there. It's found Matthew Todd. Little short chip over. Looks for Troy Stephen. 27, Gordon Carkey mobs up. Goes back out the far side, looking for Dean Tass. Maybe should have been free, a free kick for Tunnel, but Babcock gets away with it. Oh, and he gets his high. It's his old masters. No, it's not. It's Matthew Todd. Barry Babcock's got the ball, looking for leads. He's gone for a long one. Over the back. Dived in on it. It's going to happen here. Nuts no, come out. Kicked off the ground. Ooh, hard to see the numbers over there. It's gone out of bounds. Right in front of the change rooms. You can see all the Whit Sunday Seagulls boys over there. The bus must have just rocked up. Uh, getting really excited. Here's a rock contest. Ben Anderson and Matthew Todd. Mopped up his own work, done well there. Done well, handball's back. Dean Tass, getting a bit of the footy. Jardim Yabongi goes over the back. Troy Stevens gets the ball, he's not worried about it. Kicks it down long. Simon Kegel, as I said, he's been great for them. Well done by the Hawks player there. Oh, not so well done there. And he's kicked it straight to Kane Evans. He'll go back and have a shot. And look for Simon Kegel to go back and kick his fourth goal. Good footy there by Kane Evans. That's a little bit of experience coming in there. Kane Evans has played a lot of footy. Uh, former Victorian. Composure there. Could have rushed it, but didn't. Look, looked in board. Found Simon Kegel. Probably 25 out directly in front. As I said, played for the Cookerboroughs as a youngster. He sprayed that one to the right a bit. Yep, just goes past the right upright. So that'll be 4-3-27 to the Hawks. One goal, 3-9. Jason Allard are going to take the kick in here. Ooh. Jordan Corkay just marked that. Call a bump ball from down the back. To that west. Mark Nicholson going for it. Yep, a little bit of tunneling there, says the umpire. Mark Nicholson will take the kick from the half-back flank. Got a lot of movement for the Hawks. He goes to Jeff Skinner. Mopped up there by Jared East, Babongi. Back, can't quite see who that is. Oh, dropped an easy mark there. Ivan Walker probably should have marked that. Gordon Karke gets it out, drives it long. Breaks the tackle, gets it forward. Mark Nicholson, umpire says play it on. Umpire says play it on, touched in there. In the centre of the ground. Rucks go about it. Dirt, Tamarison 
Jason Allard gets the ball forward. Need a mark here, the Hawks. But no, there's that man again, Jared Van Hees. He has been solid as a rock down there. Stopping everything. Young Quarrel here. Gets the ball, wheels around. Under his right foot. Good evasive skills. Looks in forward for Simon Kegel. Great body work there by Simon Kegel. That's that experience coming out. He'll go back and have another shot. Probably a matchup David Johnson needs to look at. Simon Keel getting right on top. Getting plenty of the football. Going back for his fourth for another shot at kicking four goals. Same again, out to the right hand side. Lucky for the Hawks there, them two behinds. If they were two goals, they would have been in all sorts of trouble. Damon Skinner coming down for the kick out this time. He's looking out to the left. Comes out wide here. Grant Evans looks like he's in the box seat. He'll take a mark. He does. Playing with a bit of injury. Looks for it. There we go. Kane Evans leads at him. Good football. That's experience. Bit of age between those two blokes, but they both can play football. Kane Evans, he'll go back and try and kick one. Probably about 40 out on the Harrod Park side of the ground. I'm right behind it. I'll be able to give you a good look here. Oh, and he's used the breeze beautifully. There it is, Kane Evans. And the Hawks, five goals, four, 34 to bait to the Mackay City Hawks. One goal, three, nine. It's all swans at the moment. Hawks don't seem to have the answers. Simon Kegel's been excellent for him, playing in the middle and pushing forward. As I said, he's kicked three goals. Kane Evans has been a good focal point. Neil Cyprian, up he goes, wins this ruck. Hawks winning the, the ball in the middle, but just can't get it to go forward. 36, that's Nathan Van Hees, he misses it. Babcock caught in a tackle there. Looking for a free kick. Goes it forward. Jared Van Hees kicks it forward, as I said, he's been solid all day for him. Ball comes out this way. It's a foot race. Steps back inside. Philip Horner looks at, goes back, mocks it up. Looks for Quarrel. As I said, great mullet. Evades him. Gets his kick away. That's all right. Coming in the minute. Grant Evans gets a quick kick. There's Jardine Babongi. Takes a strong mark. Swan's seen up all the Tartars. Babongi's gone looking for Kane Evans as well. And there it is again. That's a good mark. Kane Evans will go back. Can he kick two in two minutes? He worked the last kick beautifully right to left. He's going to do the same, hanging out the right and hope the, the breed fades it back in. Heading that direction. Look at that. He's gone the other way this time, left to right. Kane Evans, he's up and about. Two goals in two minutes. I know all about Kane Evans. I coached against him in the grand final when I was coaching Mackay City Hawks back in 2013. I think he kicked six goals in the grand final against me. Loves the big occasion. And he hasn't disappointed the Swan supporters. Kicking two there in two minutes. Big inclusion for the Swans he has been. Coming back from a calf injury. Umpire here, Draper. Takes it in. Cyprian seems to be winning the ruck, but the, the Swans seem to get it, come out with it all the other time. Really good working in there in the contested. Quick handball out. There's Babcock. Been a little bit quiet. Gets a kick off it. Babcock goes back in and tries to mop it up. His body's in there everywhere. Can't quite see. Umpire Ian Draper says, thank you. I'll take a ball up. Right in the middle of the ground, pretty close to the centre circle. Cyprian once again wins the ruck, but it comes the other way. Swans win it. 
29, Mitchell Evans gets it forward. Brad Best, been pretty quiet so far, looking forward. And that's a great, oh no, he didn't mark it, didn't quite hang on to it. Oh, that's ball. No, that point didn't pay it. Good contest. It's knocked out. Oh, it's a little bit going on behind play here. Ben Anderson from Hawks. What's the umpire picked out of all this? He's picked the kick out there. It's uh, Philip Horner. It's a your free kick, son. Not much movement before the Swans at the moment. Looking for the short chip, and that's what they do. Just come out here to Jared Van Hees. As I said, been very prominent this first half. Unfortunately, I've put the mocker on him, and he's kicked it out on the full. So Neil Cyprian for the Hawks. We'll take the kick over here on the Harrow Park deck side of the ground. Pretty supporters out here. Looking along, not a lot of movement. Need a mark here. Doesn't. There's Van Hees again. Been brilliant for him. Mark Nicholson coming into it. Quarrel. Gets it out. Knocks it out. Dirk gets it. Play it on, said the umpire. Knocked off the ground there by Grant Evans. Babongi comes to meet it. Taps it out. To Horner again. Babongi retrieves. Out to his mate, Dean Tass. He's off to the races. He's out of bounds. Oh, didn't quite work. But he's followed up. Plenty of foot race on here. Barry Babcock's out there with him. And umpire says, free kick to Barry Babcock. He's been legged. Oh, that could be 50. Umpire says no. Things not quite going right for the Hawks. Not a lot of movement, not many people moving around. Barry Gobcock looks for Brad Best, needs to take a mark. Damon Skinner mops up. Swan's good at the contested footy, seem a bit hungrier at the moment. Don't know if Hawks are a bit shell-shocked. Ivan Walker going in, throwing himself into the fray there. Can't quite see. Looks like Mitchell Horner over there. Well met there. Play it on, says Draper. Hawks really need a goal out of this forward thrust, but out comes the ball. There it goes, there's Van Hees again. He's been excellent. Finds it. Looking for Tass. He's all out there by himself. No one within Kiwi of him. Evades. Neil Cyprian. Gets it in long. Contest. Kegel. Well done there, Jason Allard. Gets it through. Mops it back up. Gets the ball forward. Ivan Walker got under this. Works to the contest. In there, Mick Schuyler's having fought it out. Oh, just comes out, but umpire and Robert says, I'll have it. Thank you. Contested footy in there. It's a free kick here. It's going the way of Dean Tass. Free kick. That's got Matthew Todd, Ivan Walker. Looks at that ball. Mopped up, little short hand pass inside for Horner. Comes forward, Grant Evans. As we said, he's been great early. Mark Nicholson out here going for the football. Oh, that's not in the back. And Bryce says no. Mitch has a kick. Young Brian Adams got the ball. Ivan Walker holds it up. Two tight bodies out there. No one moving for the Hawks. No forward movement. Been told to play it on and kicks it out on the full. And Jared Van Hees will go and have the kick here. Just no movement up forward for Hawks. No one's presenting at the football. No one to kick to. Very hard for Brian Adams. You can't blame him. Uh, forwards are very stagnant. Coach David Johnson needs to ring a few changes, I think. Van Hees, he goes in short. 
misses everyone. Mitchell Evans misses it as well. Christopher Leeson. Chris Leeson gets the kick there. Nice pass there. Once again, Grant Evans presenting. Been a great focal point for him up there. Goes in long, looking for Justin Simon Kegel. Over the back. Oh! Kicked it off the ground, but the umpire says no. Ooh. And the Hawks received the free kick. That would have been a costly goal. All oh, has been a little bit of lip. I believe by Keegan needs to cut that out and 50 metre penalty. Could have tried to lock it in deep in inside. He's 50, but he's let Hawks out easily. And there we go. That's half time in the reserve grade grand final. And the Hawks with all the work ahead of them. Trailing the Eastern Swans. Six goals for 40. To Mackay City Hawks, one goal, three, nine. Uh, yep, as I said, the Hawks have got it all against them. David Johnson's going to have to pull out some big moves here, see if he can get a bit of momentum. I think they're falling uh, down across half forward. Can't seem to get a mark or anything across there. Whereas at the other end of the ground, the Swans are doing really well there with uh, Kane Evans and Simon Kegel uh, marking and kicking everything. So, yep, it's uh, all the work ahead to do with the Hawks. The Swans, they just keep they need to keep doing what they're doing, just chipping it around when the opportunity arises. Go forward and kick the goals. Anyway, we'll have a short break and we'll be back up for the second half shortly.
All right, uh, I've got here live in the commentary with me. I've uh, been fortunate enough to be joined by the uh, Eastern Swans coach coming up to play in the big game at 6.30 in the senior men's grand final, George Hannaford. Thanks for giving us a bit of your time, George. Uh, thanks, Townsy. Good to be here. Yeah, uh, really looking forward to the game, mate. Uh, you guys are coming in with a lot of momentum. Uh, won the first semi semi-final. Uh, give my boys a bit of a touch up there. And uh, really did the job last week against uh, the Saints. Uh, tough, tough job tonight against Witsano. They've probably been the form team all year. How have the boys been at training and uh, how's the preparation been? Oh, well, they've been at training, so that's a good start. <laughs> oh, that is a good start. Um, but, you yeah, know, it's, it's going really well. We have had a lot of momentum lately uh, coming from well, our last Whit Sunday's game where we, we did lose that. And then ever since then, we haven't dropped one against the Saints, uh, Magpies twice, and then Saints again last week. So, yeah, really confident going into this game. Um, and you've got to be in grand finals, and we know we've got the we've got the personnel there that can do it. Yeah. And our structures are in place now, and everyone's executing them as as we'd like. Yeah. Um, and it's all coming together at the right time, and, and you can't ask for much more than that. Yeah, I think you've been really lucky. You've probably had the same list together pro probably for about the last five or six games of the home away season, leading into finals. And I think your strength is where you've been winning the game, because I think you're really strong in the in the mid with yourself, big bodied uh, Kyle Shepherd's in there, and then you've got a little bit of pace in there with Braden DeAngelis has come on as well. And you've got a really good forward structure with Cameron Squaws and Lukey Ball down there that can kick you the goals if you get it into them. And that's where I reckon the game can be won tonight. I think it's going to be won in the midfield, and I think you might have a little edge in there. Yeah, that's what something we've, we've been focusing on a lot is is the contested ball and, and really owning that. Um, it's nice that Cam Squires has got a new set of boots and he can kick straight <laughs> now, um, which is always a, a bonus. And and ball has been a quality forward up there all year, and he, and it shows is coming up runner up in the um, in the goal kicking award. So we got the we got the person up forward that can kick goals, um, and our midfield has has come together at the right time. And we do have a really good mix of big bodies like Porter um, who can run through there, and then the smaller um, agile fellas in Bray. Aiden and, and Tyson Reed as well. Yeah. Fellas, for them to watch, I know I think probably your Ackley's here could be your back line. We know that with Sunday boys, have a lot of goal kickers there that can kick goals. They've got Regan Williams, they've got Matt Galonsky, they've got Hug, they've got Hare. Have you got any plans for them? I know that it's going to be a hard matchup for you to, to try and stop all of them. Yeah, it is. And they do have a lot of renowned goal kickers. Um, uh, it probably helps winning every game, but too, you know, you, you do get a lot more renowned goal kickers um, for the year. But very confident in our back line. They're, they're quite a solid unit. Um, been playing together now for, well, the same back line for at least a month or two. So it's been, um, yeah, they've been building nicely. Um, no specific plans on shutting down anyone. It's more of um, owning our structure and our gameplay and um, take, letting the process take care of itself down there. Yeah, that's probably a good uh, good plan to go in with. Just back your own self, back your team structure, play to your team plan, try and, try and get sucked into the opposition too much and uh, I think it's going to be a good game. I think it's going to be close to what people think. Do you find, and I've noticed in the last two, in the, both the, the semi-final last week and the preliminary final, after half time, the, when the night comes in and the ball, the second half, I think the ball seems to get a little bit dewy. Have you spoken about that, that maybe you might need to slow it down a bit and, you know, chip the ball around because, you know, sliding through hands and stuff like that? I noticed last week it was quite slippery. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a whole different game again, playing at night. Um, obviously, we, you know, we had one night game during the year here at Harrop Park and, and it did get really dewy early on that, mate mainly because it was more middle of winter. But now, yeah, it's, it does get you in the second half. We noticed that last week. Um, it slides around a bit more. It's a bit harder to handle. Um, but again, we, we back up our structure and our process. And maybe our ball execution and skill is going to have to um, lift and, and be really controlled in, in the second half. But again, 
if we can start moving the ball forward and, and even get the, the slippery conditions to slide out the back even more, um, we're going to use that to our advantage. Well, talking to momentum, you've got a bit of momentum going in the reserves grade grand, uh, grand final now. Got a handy lead at half time. Be really good if the boys could give you a win to kickstart you going into the grand final. Grand final as well. So, uh, yeah, mate. And how have you found your first year up here in Mackay? The, the footy, how have you found it? Yeah, it's, it's been different. Um, the footy up here, it's... It, oh, it's warmer conditions obviously being up north and it's a lot more open um, so there's, there's a lot more opportunity for running um, players and skill level to, to really lift again yeah. um, and I think that'll be definitely on display tonight with, with both our runners um, being some of the best in the comp and with Sundays being a real quick team as well so there'll be a lot of run a lot of skill on display um, and yeah, it's, it's it has been it has been good coming up and playing and enjoying a new new atmosphere yeah. up See, here. See, the are you going to emphasise the boy that it's really important that you get off to a good start because you need to get off to a good start, don't you? Against a really quality opposition. Oh, absolutely. Yep. No better thing than having a good start in a grand final. So uh, it will come out red hot, absolutely firing, um, raring to go. Like we'll pick up where we where we left off the end of last week and and be and be ready for a big game. It's going to be it's going to be awesome. So excited. All right, George, thanks very much for coming over and joining me today. I know you're a busy man, mate. All the best in the grand final tonight and uh, wish the boys all the best of luck from me, mate. And uh, looking forward to a ripping game and thanks for your time. No, thanks, Downsy. Thanks, mate. Cheers, mate. Beautiful. Thanks, mate. All right, here we go. Third quarter of the Razzies grand final. Umpire Ian Draper balls it up. Hawks need to score first. We know that. They've got the centre clearance. But the Swans mop it up, out the back. That's Chris Leeson. Going hard, Bradley Best chasing the MJ, the Miller medalist. Gets it on, Neil Cyprian. Good pressure, Gordon Karke, out the back. Looks forward. Dean Tass looks like he might mop up here, no. It's over the back. Oh, great tackle, was up without the ball. Umpire Ian Draper says no. Damon Skinner mops up. This time he says yes, over the shoulder. He'll go back and have a shot. Uh, do a forward entry. Gets it in nice and quick. Not the best to kick. Mick Scott does a pedalwood. Turns around. Beats one. Here's a chance. A little short kick. And that's the goal they needed. Jeremy Adams gets some kick started in the third quarter. Score. Eastern Swans. Six goals. Four. 40. Two. Hawks, 2-3, 15. And it was vitally important that Hawks came out and kicked the first goal of the third quarter. And they, don't, they don't only need to kick the first, they need to kick the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth. They need to try and get back into this ball game. Ivan well, Walker matching up on Trevor Skinner there. A couple of old campaigners there. Skinner's very influential with his voice of getting around the ground, finding space. Matty Todd and Neil Cyprian go at it again. There's a free kick being picked up here. Yep, it's going to Jeff Skinner for holding. He's looking for, looking for someone. Not the best kick, look for his brother, for his son, sorry, Damon. Goes to ground, got to keep your feet. Damon Skinner gets the ball. No, umpire's not going to give 50. Give him the benefit of the doubt there, Damon Skinner. Free kick to Ivan Walker for being legged. I'm sure he'll go down towards Kane Evans or Simon Kegel. They've been on fire. Great penetrating kick. Simon Kegel leads out. Good attempt at Mark. Michael Norley. Got his job work cut out on Kegel. Ball's just been paddled around here. Good bump in the side there. Comes out. It's a free kick down the ground from Northey. Skinner plays on quickly. Good thinking. Needs to get it forward. Twenty-eight. Caleb Johnson. Caleb Hussey kicks it forward. Darren Peddle at the back. Can kick a goal. Looks around. Sends it back to the hot spot. And is that a mark? No, he's fumbled it. Nathan Van Hees out here on the wing. 
looks inboard, looks for a centering kick. No one there, Mark Nicholson comes out to meet it. He's quite quick, gets through. Gets it long out wide. Good mark there by Ben Anderson. I need to get the ball forward. Can't afford to muck around. Need to get a score on the board. Met there by Jeremy Adams. He looks a bit slow. That's where Swan seemed to be on top. Seemed to have the pace, I believe. Ben Anderson kicks it back off the ground. Out towards Brad Vest. Nathan Van Hees gets it. Gets it quickly on the boot. Should be a mark here to the Hawks, and it is. Can't quite see his number there. Short pass to Mark Nicholson. Oh, 50 says the umpire went over the mark. Mark Nicholson, no one's on the mark. He can just run into an open goal. Troy Stevens ran straight off there. And I tell you what, he's, he's kicked. Oh, touch, says the goal umpire. Important touch there. Wants to kick it out from full back. They're going to go straight up the centre of the ground. Jardim Mbongi takes up Mark. He's off. Barry Badcock's after him. Gets a hand pass back. Don't quite see. Looks like Nathan Van Heese gets it going forward. There's Simon Kegel comes out to meet it. Norley's doing the job on him. Gets it back under his leg. Foot goes back into the middle. Gordon Karkay gets a free kick there. Yep. Interference. Goes out wide. There's Mark Nico again. Getting loose. He likes to do that. Likes to run forward. Gets the ball in. There he is again. He's my pick for best on ground at the moment. The man of intercept marks he's done across there in this game. Van Hees. Chips it out. Nice pass there. Is that Ivan Walker? Looks like him. Swan's playing the slow tempo. Good work. It's a way to play it. If you've got the ball, the opposition hasn't. Oh, good attempt to mark there. Ball's off the ground. Badcock. Barry Badcock gets it. Gives a hand back to Brad Best. Been pretty quiet, Best. Looks out right there. Skinner mark goes to the mark. Knocks the ball forward. Into Ivan Walker. He gets the ball. Chips it over. Finds Jardim Babongi out on the far side of the ground. Right in front of the coach's box. He goes down long to Kane Evans. He's come out to meet the ball. Wheels around. Looks in forward. He'll go towards Kegel now. No, does well. Looks forward. Simon Kegel got the city up and takes a mark. That's probably the matchup that's hurt him all day. Kegel has done the job on Norley. He'll go back and can answer the reply from the Hawks. Evans and Kegel have been strong all day up forward for the Swans. Kegel going in and he's hit the post. Probably still sitting on three goals, I think. Had some golden opportunities. So the goals are six goals, five, 41. Probably kicking out the wrong side, I reckon, but they decided to go out there. Should have marked that ball. It's a quick hand pass. Jason Allard mops up out the back. Goes down long. Damon Skinner on one-on-one -on -one with Tass. Takes a mark. Sunshine move, fading slowly. Nice inside forward kick. Mick Scala comes out, meets it. Wheels around, handballs back. Brian Evans, short kick on the right. Maybe should have done better. 28, Hussey, here's his chance. He's kicked another one. He's kicked two for him. Jackson Hussey, little goal sneak up there for him. Only kicked one goal up into to this game. So, uh, yeah, he's kicked two there in two minutes. A couple of important goals there. Gives Hawks a little bit of belief. How much gas have the Swans got in the tank? 
Can the Hawks keep coming? Important centre clearance here. Well, Ivan Walker seems to have the job on picking up. Uh, Skinner's going forward. Back into the centre of the ground. Todd against Cyprian. Todd wins this one, but Babcock mops up. Adams comes in to meet it. Man in a front on tackle there. Can't quite see who that is. Someone down for the Swans. Might be a corky. Sucking them in. I don't know what the umpire's doing here. He just needs to ball it up. No. He's off. Walter Van Hees it is. Maybe it could be a blood reel. Ball up by the umpire. Umpire says I'll have it again. Hawks trying to work their way back into the game. Todd wins that run contest once again. Nicholson comes up, meets it. It's a scrap. Ivan Walker's in there trying to knock it out. Umpire says, I'll have it. Cyprian wins that one. Good, hard, tough footy. Cyprian wins that one, mopped up. Kick in board there. Grant Evans running for it. Gives a nice handball inside to Ivan Walker. Over the back. There he is. Simon Kegel once again. Big 16 goals for the Swans throughout the year. Three times in the best players. And he only played seven games. So averaging two games a two goals a game. About to go in and kick his fourth. And this time he doesn't miss. Swans get the reply they needed. As Hawks started to try and make a challenge. Score. Eastern Swans, seven goals. 5.47 to the Hawks. Three goals, By Ian Draper as the sun is slowly fading away here at Harrow Park. Uh, so, uh, so are the Hawks' chances. Need another goal here. There it is. I got it going the right way. Barry Cop Babcock just toes it off the ground. Good kick forward. Damon Skinner is trying to take him on. Gets a handball out. That's the no one. No, he's been slung late. It's a free kick. Costly for the Swans, that could be. Skinner looks inboard, finds Neil Cyprian. Grant Evans tried to chop it off, couldn't quite get there. Cyprian goes along. It's over the back. Jacob Lambert, hands in the back there. Ian Draper in perfect position to see that. It's a free kick to Dean Tass. And the uh, Hawks half forward, Swans half back. He goes out wide. One on one contest here. Yeah, that's a pull. Jardine Bavongi plays on quickly. He's off. One bounce, two bounce. No good. Fumble. And mopped up by Gordon Carkey. He gets a short kick out. It's all Hawks out this side. Mark Nicholson, he turns around. I don't know where he's going. Does a short chip. Probably not the best kick. Gordon Carkey takes a mark. Carkey. Kakeri. He looks out wide. 
He goes back over to Mark Nicholson, who's made his way out the outside there. Mark taking the air, can't quite see who. Left foot out to Big Mick Scola. Doesn't mark it. It's out of bounds over there. Boundary throwing, Babongi mops it up, quick hands over to Dean Tass. They've been very handy for the Swans. Ryan Adams gets it on, kicks it forward, need to mark here. Cam Darren Pedder would take it. No, he can't. Goes through, not through yet. Darren Kelly knocks it off the ground. Four Swans here, three on one. Comes back, mops up, gets a hand out. Jared Van Hees, oh, good contest there. It's a kick, and it's out of bounds on the full. Ben Anderson could probably go back and have a shot. For the Hawks. Probably needs to go back and try and nail this. If they can go in 20 points down, it's probably not too bad. There's a look. Oh! The umpire's paid 50. I don't know what it's all about. But it is a free kick to Brad Best. Right in front of goal. Don't know what happened there. I'll tell you what. Very important goals to the Hawks. They're only 20 points behind now. So it's Hawks. 4-4-28 trailing the Eastern Swans. 7-5-47. So it gives them that little bit of hope. Still a quarter to go. And there's only 19 points in it. That's three kicks. The bongi's gone into the middle now. All right, Big Turk up against Big Dirt, Terma Shizen. Yep, they're out here. Barry Badcock got under him nice and quick. Need a mark here. Jared Van Hees has his done all day. Mopped up. Gets the ball forward. Damon Skinner should mark this, and he does. He's been real good. Damon Skinner wheels around. Comes out here to Jason Allard. Should mark it, and he does. The bongi sits on the mark. Hawks making a late charge here in the third quarter. That's a good hit. Didn't quite get it. And he's coming out of there. Jason Allard, Ivan Walker. Ivan Walker goes for a grab. Misses three swans. Kane Evans gets it. Kicks it deep forward. Looking for Simon Kegel. Who was marked all day. Umpire says it's a boundary throw in. There it is, three quarter time. It's Eastern Swans, seven goals, five, 47 to four, four, 28. That late goal by the Hawks might just give them that little bit of belief. But it's Swans by three goals, Hawks, 17 minutes to try and make a comeback. As again, need to kick the first one of the third quarter. 